When you place your first order with us, you will receive a free booklet and DVD full of handy hints, tips and tutorials to help you get started with your new jewellery maker hobby. The early bird catches the worm. Don't miss out on your chance to grab our amazing early bird offers at 9am on weekday mornings. Catch them while you can. There are two easy ways to purchase from Jewellery Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview or Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click the sign up button. Once you have filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the On Air Now button on the homepage where you'll be able to see all the products that have been in today's show. You can also use our quick search tool and narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, simply click on the Buy Now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget that you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one P&P. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hello, good morning, welcome to Jewelry Maker. I'm Ruth Lynette and I'm a little bit overexcited, to be quite honest with you this morning. Just, okay, that's, that's probably a big white lie, just a little bit, <laughs> a huge bit. Um, I, I knew I was going to be with you this morning, but I was speaking to Paula uh, yesterday about the shows this morning and she said one, one word to me that has made me incredibly excited, gizmo. I cannot tell you how long I've been waiting to do a show with the gizmo. Today I have my gizmo, this one here, this is my gizmo, this is mine because I've been waiting and waiting to buy mine. So I'm very, very excited about this show today and I'm delighted to welcome the lovely Rachel Norris. Good morning. Good morning, Good how morning. are you? I'm absolutely fine. Yes, very uh, nice to work with you finally. <laughs> I know, I've watched you so often on Gems TV, it's lovely to see you. Oh bless you. In real life, yes. I know, it's very Even exciting. More beautiful a... in real life. Oh than... bless you, bless you. We've got a very <laughs> exciting show today, haven't we? Um, and if, you, if mm. you're not familiar with the gizmo, you're thinking, what is she, talk is she talking about? Gremlins? Are we, are we doing gizmos and gremlins? Gremlins today? No. The gizmo is a tool. It's a trick of the trade here uh, at uh, Jewelry Maker. If you're interested in making your jewelry, it's an essential tool if you love working with your wire. And I'm actually going to show to you straight away these incredible works of art. There's no other way of describing these. They're absolutely beautiful. Two pieces that Rachel has created. These are just fantastic. You have, look at these. Aren't they amazing? I'm going to try and hold them up against the board, actually. You've got, look at those. I mean, I have no, I just cannot even begin to think that I might be able, be able to even start to create something as beautiful as these. They are fabulous. You've got your little dragonfly. Looks like it's just ready, oh, but I'm holding its tail. It's not going anywhere. Aren't they good? And what's the other, is the other one a little fish, a little flying fish? It was meant to be um, a koi cart, but sort of evolved into something else. A koi and my cart. my daughter said that I was going to put white pearls on as the eyes, and it mm. nearly turned into three-eyed fish on oh. The Simpsons. <laughs> so I had to take the pearls off and put green eyes on. He's very beautiful though. Aren't they gorgeous? So you've got two really, really pretty pieces here. And Rachel is actually going to show you um, how to sort of create at least one of those. So very Ooh, exciting. The, and see the wings, yes, aren't we? We're yes. going to have a look at the wings for the little dragonfly at least. So, um, But with the gizmo, we're not just going to give you the gizmo and go, there you go, make, make use of that. Try and find out what to do. It's part of a bundle. So you get an incredible gizmo bundle with wire. You get DVDs. There's three gizmo wire DVDs in there as well. So there's loads and loads to enjoy. Plus, if you're joining us for the very first time, you will always get your copy of your monthly magazine. You will also get a free DVD a free booklet so there's loads of tips and hints and tutorials in there to let you know how exactly to do it so it's a great great opportunity one-stop shop here at Jewelry Maker so everybody that knows us here very nice to have you all there absolutely lovely I'm sure you'll be on your Facebook and all the rest of it this morning again we always love to receive your comments and um, we've got some amazing kits this morning one of the kits is including a hundred pieces of your findings it's phenomenal and you won't get over the price. It's going to be such a great deal for that. Should we have a sneaky peek at some of those? 
I think we should. We've got three fabulous, fabulous sort of uh, uh, kits. That is the red carpet kit. It's coming up towards the end of the show. So you've got your red carpet kit there, including 100 pieces of gold plated copper your findings it's an amazing amazing opportunity that one some beautiful gemstones in there and also within there we've actually found there's actually a chain of uh, black spinel included in that as well which i think is just fantastic we didn't know that was in there until this morning we've got two other kits we want to share with you as well this one is your field of gold now the field of gold jewelry kit is including 43 pieces of nine to five solid uh, solid sterling silver within there uh, so you've got another fantastic big big findings kit with that plus you can see you've got some of the gemstone extenders in there as well so that's your added extra within that kit two beautiful beautiful kits there for you and we've also got a chocolate candy kit now your chocolate candy kit is is absolutely gorgeous as well we've got some beautiful look at those very nice indeed You've got pyrite within there you've got your shell uh, your shell pearl some really really beautiful pieces and that's going to be one of the first kits we actually have a look at this morning but of course it's jewelry maker it's early so the, from the big bird i need to bring you the early bird don't i we need to start off with the early bird this morning and this i don't i don't know whether you're meant to say big bird or not anymore i don't care i don't care i'm i'm, I'm a big bird i'm a big bird so i'm going to bring to you the early bird and have a look at this it's absolutely good well, you're in, all I can say is you're in for a treat. You're absolutely in for a treat and a half on this. Pyrite at the most wonderful early bird special of a price. We are treating, we are absolutely treating you with, on, with, with this one. You can see you've got these lovely sort of puffy ovals of your pyrite and everything about this is looking gorgeous. I work with a lot, I love pyrite anyway, I love hematite and pyrite, so this is always on my list. But you can see just how gorgeous that is. We're looking at 0800 644 655 on the telephone lines. If you do want to get involved, this is definitely, definitely a great way to start with an early bird because with the early bird you do catch the worm you get a fabulous low low price here for your pyrite puffy ovals which are 18 by 13 and today the early bird price for this strand is going to be even lower than it should be our manager ed gave us the opportunity to do this even lower i will say it seems a little bit strange that he does the he gives us this price then he goes on holiday he escapes so he's hoping, I think, that by the time he gets back from holiday, everybody else will have forgotten what he allowed us to do. But right now, this is going to be such a blitz in terms of price. Don't forget, of course, in one of your jewellery kits coming up later on in the show, of course, you've got the pyrite in there as well, the little pyrite sort of half moon. So you could think about adding these into your order because it would certainly work with that kit that you've got coming up a little bit later on. Get involved. If you want to do it on the web, of course, it's all the w's.jewellerymaker.com. Are you ready for the price? I'm promising you well under 10 pounds but it's an early bird so we're going to take it massively lower to three pounds three pounds 95 for your early bird puffy ovals that is a bit of a treat isn't it this is exactly how we want to start off the day the sun's shining outside the birds are tweeting it's beautiful out there today make the most of it obviously i think that i hope this isn't our summer for the week i'm thinking positive i'm thinking it's here it's here three pounds 95 it's here, you get your booklet, you get your DVD, and of course you'll get your monthly magazine. 0800 644 655, very easy, just pick up the telephone line, press your option one. The only thing you're paying for, the only thing it's costing you, is your time, because this is a free phone telephone number. Three pounds 95, and you can see just how incredible that is as a look. Pirate has a most amazing luster that you're seeing from the James Bond. Wherever you're watching right now, if you're watching on Freeview, on, on Sky, on the internet, it doesn't matter, but three pounds 95, is beautiful very very nice look at that look it's like a golden luster that you get from the surface of the gemstone 395 it's absolutely superb. There's a big rush on the telephone lines now. Congratulations. I think, I think actually, I think we've shocked you in terms of price here. For the first sort of few seconds, I think everybody was sitting at home going, really? That can't be right. They're going to change that back. No, we don't. It's £3.95 and every single one of you on the telephone lines that are picking up, that are dialing, it's a brilliant treat, isn't it? In fact, I'm just going to wrap that around the wrist whilst it's there. It's 38 centimetre strand, by the way. And honestly, we don't see that many strands at 3.95 on this channel, do we? 3.95 is pretty good going, isn't it? Pretty good going at £3.95. I think that's the understatement of the day, pretty good going. At 370 
carrots, 0800 644 and you can see just how, they, they, they will work really nicely. We've got the, um, the half moons with the kit that, uh, that that we're going to pass to sort of to to, uh, to Rachel. I just think you can't have enough pyrite. And they also go so well with uh, lapis uh, lazuli. So yes, if you've they got, do. I know, you, I know you've sold um, puffy oval lapis lazuli. You've probably got something on the website similar. Yeah. And they could team it up with that. Because you've got the gold flashes, I think, in the lapis, lapis rounds with it. Yeah. Yes. Very very nice. Beautiful. Well done. Congratulations, lots of you there. Hold those telephone lines and we're going to get moving. Well done, that's your early bird. Take that home. If you're watching one of the repeat shows later on, always give these a go because people might not check out of their basket. Uh, always worth having a little bit of a look. Congratulations, nice start. Right, so Gizmo, getting very excited about that. Uh, but have a look at what I've got for you here. This is an incredible, incredible strand. Uh, well, several strands in terms of what you're seeing here. I'm going to put the silver just on the side for a second. But I'm going to stop. The white quartz is exceptionally, exceptionally beautiful here. You've got a triple strand. Well, you've got six strands, actually, if we count in the amethyst. Have a look at all of those together. But I'm, I'm, I love the fact that you've got so many different shapes here. So many different shapes. You've got different effects from the white quartz as well. But these all look absolutely glorious, don't they? You've got some very beautiful white quartz. You've got amethyst strands in here as well they are absolutely beautiful now this is a bundle isn't it this is a six strand bundle which again I've, I've not presented many six strand bundles i'll be honest with you but you can see i love that sort of crackled effect that you're getting in the white quartz that cracked quartz faceted rice beads they're 14 by 10 millimeters 250 carats and then you've got these lovely faceted rondelles they're 10 by 5 that's 280 carats and then your bicones i adore the bicones they are beautiful obviously you've got those in the amethyst as well but the bicones are measuring in at 10 mil that's 170 carats so you've got real clarity with those two strands then you've got that lovely lovely um, um, included sort of feel there from the cracked quartz gorgeous and the amethyst i love this sort of matte effect it's a frost effect that you're seeing but they, it's just so totally different from getting the the really lovely sort of polish but you've got the drops there the faceted drops of the purple amethyst 150 carats now they are giving you that lovely polish so the bicones it's actually just the sort of the uh, the puffy coins that are frosted but it adds in a different element so two of those gemstones are polished You've got exactly the same with the white quartz. You've got that similar feel. Then you've got something different in the quartz, which is the cracked effect. Then with the amethyst, you've got that lovely frosted, uh, frosted, woo, frosted. <laughs> that's a nice word. Frost, they're frosted. Uh, frosted. You'll get used to this. It happens all day. Uh, we've got that lovely. Um, frosted feel it's because i don't want to talk about frost the sun's out mm. don't want it to focus on frost i know it's wonderful. beautiful don't you feel so much better when oh, you wake up you yes, open the curtains yes. and you see the sunshine yes goodbye sad oh, hello i summer. know i know you can't you just straight away it's like oh i feel no, like something's lifted the fog the fog's gone oh um purple <laughs> amethyst and white quartz you need a price there this is a six strand bundle of gemstones your carrot weight is massive and originally this was launched at 57.95 which still for six strands is brilliant you're paying well less than 10 pounds a strand still absolutely glorious for every single one of those so what we are is that what we're looking at now goodness me that's at 57.95 that's a 17 pound saving is it saving from what from Oh, from buying, okay, from buying, so if you were, you can buy these, so if you were to buy these individually, 57.95 is a £17 saving. That just sounded too much, that's why I was questioning that. I thought, well, I thought that's just, that can't, I've not heard that right. Goodness me, so a great saving already at 57.95, but this is the price slash price. This is unbelievable. You've got a great opportunity here. So we are basically looking at saving you now from if, if you were buying them separately, we are looking, we are looking at saving you 27 pounds. That's so exciting. All of Rachel's beads there are rolling all over the table and excitement. <laughs> <laughs> the silver silver waterfall uh, for she's caught them 47.95 for amethyst and white quartz that's an exceptional bundle six individual strands that we're going to give to rachel to work these are lovely aren't they 47.95 
for six. That's an incredible deal. Congratulations if you're taking those home. Absolutely amazing. And I think even if I if I mix these up for you, you can see, of course they work together. They're so complementary, but whether you're thinking about just working with these color tones or whether you're thinking about mixing and matching, you're gonna have a lot of fun with that. You've, all of our regular customers, you've got to be thinking about your stash constantly. I, I, I'm one of those people, as soon as my stash starts to get a bit low, I panic. I like to have a lot of jewellery and a lot of pieces that I'm making, but I like to see, I like to see a lot of gemstones in my stash. If that gets a bit low, I start to panic. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a bit of a hoarder in, in that respect, but I like to have the choice. Is that just me, Rachel, or is that normal? No, I, I'm afraid I have a huge cupboard full of um, gemstones. It's yeah. um, a shame to say, really. But, do you feel, but I feel safe that way. Um, I know that if low, someone asks me for a particular the colour combination. I can give them any colour exactly. combination um, that they want and also I, I want to be able to work with lots of different gemstones. Exactly. Um, just, just, oh I want to work with Amazonite yeah. today. I want to work with, you know. But then you've got the freedom of choice, yes. haven't you? If you suddenly fancy doing something, you know I'm you can go to lucky, stash actually, and it's there. I've got the stash all set up. <laughs> lucky that you've got the room. 40 <laughs> should see my lounge. It's just, you can't get in the lounge now. 47 pounds, 95. I am one of those people. I've hardly ever seen my petrol tank on red. I'm one of those, once I get below half, I start to panic. Mm. That's just the way I work. <laughs> 47.95, congratulations. Lots of stock of that, so do make sure you're getting yours. But that's not where we're stopping with this because we're also going to give, and this, this I kind of gave it away there because Rachel was, was just having a little bit of a, a look at the silver balls and then we had a, a silver ball cascade. Uh, but what you're getting here as well, oh, we see it's happening to me is the opportunity to own, uh, to own, to take home your silver spacer beads. Now, again, this is something I like to have a very, very big stash of. I'll just pick one of these up so you can have a little bit. Oh, are my tweezers going to be? Oh, just about. Oh, no. Have you got some? Thank you, Jack. I've got a bit of a, a thinner tip on. That will help. Thank you, hun. There we go. So there's your silver spacer bead. Nice size as well, these. Very, very nice size indeed. So you've got a good collection of your silver spacer beads if you want to take these. You get 15, that's, that's, that's good going actually, 15 spacer beads, approximately six millimetres. However, 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 this is going to be a 24 hour only price slash. We are doing this for 24 hours from now. So once the, the, the early show starts again tomorrow at 9 a.m., you're out of time. So 24 hours, that's all you have. You'll be right out of time. That's not the right song for those words, I don't think. But let's show you the regular price that, that, that everybody pays normally. Now I've got to say at 7.95, personally, considering these are 95 solid sterling silver, your spacer beads for 15 of these, I think that's a great deal at 7.95. And they do add so much to your, to your jewelry. If you add a couple of those in on a bracelet or a couple of those to a necklace, I think it takes something from a very, maybe a very sort of beautiful but basic look to something incredibly boutique. Just adding in that silver instantly, I think makes your designs look much more expensive. But for 24 hours only, we say goodbye to 7.95. Be nice to take 10% off, wouldn't it? Be really nice if we could take 20% off that price tag for 24 hours only. Well, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're taking 20% off that price to take them down to six. I'm, get, I'm getting some of these six pounds 45. They are instantly added to my gizmo. I'm instantly adding to my one set of delivery charge on that at 6.45. I always love coming to see you here at Jewelry Maker, but I kind of dread it a little bit as well because I always know I'm never going to be leaving the building empty handed. Doesn't happen, can't happen. It's too tempting, isn't it? It's too good at six pounds 45 for 15 space of do you find that you use a lot of these with, I know you do obviously a lot with your gizmo and your wire work. They're um, good for um, adding, well, I don't know, yes I use a lot of silver beads um, as, as details. Yes. You don't have to use a lot of them all at once. You can, They're great just bottoms of earrings or either side of a pendant or the, the yeah. top of a pendant, they, you know, and they will go a long way. And they do make the designs look a bit more expensive, yes, I always yes, think. Yes, they do. And a sterling silver beads, you can't go wrong actually. And nice. they've got a beautiful finish and they add that um, shine and sparkle mm. to your design. They're very, very... Any ideas as to how you're going to use these already, Rachel? Um, oh, no. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> That's Not all yet. right. Only because right. I'm concentrating on thinking about a brace 
fit at the moment and yeah. I'm doing that in, in copper so right. I won't team that up with silver but no. I've got some beautiful obviously the white quartz and amethyst will go ideally with the silver yeah. so I might make some earrings with them. Rachel's got a lot to do today she's very busy indeed six pounds 45 <laughs> like that oh six pounds 45 call us on 0800 6 triple four six double five and you get your chance to own those 24 hour only special on those so huge congratulations because I know uh, to get your silver like this you, and you do get through them don't you I think this is one of those opportunities where I just think I'd have to grab a couple of packs of those because obviously you can use one or two in a design but I do like to go a bit silver heavy personally I wear a lot of solid sterling silver so I like to see a lot of this in my designs but congratulations on the telephone lines 0800 655 if you want to give us a call or of course on the web all the w's.jewelrymaker.com get involved beautiful fantastic so we need to give these to Rachel really don't we we need to pass these over because we've got the six strand bundle and the beads shall I take these over now Deanna I'll go for it. Do you know what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to, I've got my, uh, I've got my talk back on my knee because my cable's being a bit of a pain. So I'm going to put it under my armpit like a handbag <laughs> and take it over. It's, it's all the glamour. It's no, no, it's not lifting my dress up at the back. That's my microphone cable that's doing that. Shall I, so, I shall cross over like this? <laughs> Don't look, Jack. Don't look. He's looking in the corner. Right. So have a look. <laughs> I'll pop that down there. So we've got the strands. We've got the white quartz. I love the, the cracked quartz. I think that's gorgeous. I worked with these on the Chosen by You once and I just okay. thought it was the most beautiful um, set of gemstones to work with. The amethyst has really Sorry. beautiful um, deep purple tones and the crystal clarity of that quartz is just wonderful for evening mm. pieces, um, for adding on adorning tiaras, um, bridal wear. Um, evening wear glitz and glamour yeah. is absolutely beautiful I think um, they're just a really lovely combination aren't they you look at them and you, you're not sort of stuck for ideas I don't think as soon as you see them it's just like <gasps> no and it was to the work with first them. time I'd worked with the frosted amethyst mm. and I love the muted um, soft tones because then it, it accentuates the glitter mm. next to it yeah um, it's not just all glitter you've got some soft um, soft um, shapes and tones nice coming tone. from that and, and sort of the sort of soft lavenders, you've got the violets in there, but equally you've got the deeper purple, so you can, if you want to, you can sort of choose to go through your strands, you can you can take out some of the deeper ones and sort of colour match those yes, together yes. and mm. sort of and graduate your tones. Within, the, for example, the pear drop mm. um, amethyst strand, there are some really lovely little clear ones which you could team up together as a pair yep. of earrings. And also there's there. some bicolour ones I found in there. There too. is, I just went by one of those somewhere and actually. At the end of the some strand. nice little patterns actually in there. If you look at that one, mm. got some, and, and sort of either or, you've got some really pretty sort of markings in there. Okay, so genuine. you might get, if you get two of those, you can make up some piece. In fact, actually you have got two ad quite adjacent to each other, one, two, mm. so you can pair those up as a set of earrings quite nice. Just nicely. pick them out. That'd be perfect. So, exciting, exciting mm. strand here for you. Plus you've got the silver space beads, of course, as well. So what are we thinking? I can see a lot of um, gizmo Well, I'm going to do, um, obviously I'm going to do a butterfly yes. and use that as the focal point for a necklace. Fabulous. And also I'm going to do um, a bracelet okay. as well. So we'll work through that. I might, it depends on what we can show to demonstrate, but I'll probably do the bracelet out of shot because that's right. on the um, gizmo DVDs. But Fine. do the, the, the butterfly together on air, which should be lovely. Excellent. Lovely. Fabulous. Well, so there's lots to, uh, to, to, to look forward to this morning. Mm. I shall leave these with you because I know you've got absolutely loads to do. So we'll catch up again with Rachel a little bit later on in the show. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you. But we are going to continue because we do have a lot more to share with you. I'm feeling, I'm feeling that as the sun is out, as the sun is out, did you, did you see that behind me? I don't know if you saw that there. You can see under something. We're going to do an under something hour. What would you like to see there? Hour? Sections, sorry, not, not an hour, a section. What would you like to see? Under 20? Under 10? How about under five? How about an under five pounds section for you right now? Jack is coming in. Did it sound like Brucey there? Lower, lower, good game, higher. Uh, we are going to go. It's always going to be a Ruthie bonus. Good game. We are going to go under, under five. Oh, don't worry. I could do the whole thing, the whole chin. Um, we are doing, we are doing, 
<laughs> under five pounds, under five pounds section. Starting with, there's some very nice pink gemstones in here, I have to say. Some very, can we start with those? Yeah, you know me. I spot the, I bought a lovely, I went shopping with Carol yesterday, presented to Carol, went to Birmingham, went shopping. Oh my, we had far, we had far too much fun. Oh yes, um, but uh, but I, I needed some new clothes. I needed some more dresses and things for for for, for work, uh, work. Um, so we went shopping. We had a fabulous time. Every store we went into, every dress I went up to, I'm like that. Oh, I like the pink one. Carol's like that. Come away from the pink. Try something different. Try this one. So I was very glad she was with me. Otherwise, I, I think everything would have been pink. Um, but this is my kind of pink. This is, uh, but Carol was going for the blues. I know Carol's a blue girl. She was going for the blues and I was going for the pinks. So at least we weren't fighting over things. We tried the odd dress on together, but I, that wasn't a great thing to do either. I'm like that. Look at her in that. She looks, she looks fab. I'm getting out of it. Right, pink, pink, beautiful, beautiful gemstones here for you. Aren't they lovely? You've got these gorgeous, gorgeous, puffy, puffy rounds. Now, of course, everything is going under five pounds in this section, in this little selection for you. And we've got some gorgeous agate here for you. Very striking color tones indeed that we can see here. The graphics are making their way in. They don't want to rush today. The sun's out, they don't want to rush. They just want to take it easily. Take it easy this morning, but you've got hot bubblegum pinks. But can you see the different markings that you're getting on every one of the gemstones? It's almost sort of marbly effect that you can see in there. Very, very beautiful, uh, beautiful, aren't they? Beautiful. Mm, be nice if I had pewter. Uh, but very beautiful. And you can see every one again is different. Plus what we were just talking about there, you can pick out a couple that sort of really match. Got some lovely reds in there, haven't you? Cutting across the corner. 240 carats of puffy agate coins. Don't forget the most you're going to pay for every single one of these strands in this section is 4.99 that's the most you're going to pay for any single one of these strands which i think is a little bit terrific don't you i um, 800 6 if you pick a couple of these strands get your toolkit of course you get your free dvd your free booklet then you've got an amazing amazing opportunity here now this is i'm just being told a bit of a price slash all right, we weren't meant to go below this price but we wanted to sneak this into the under five pound selection so we did we did what can happen nothing once we've done it we've done it we can't add on the pounds and pennies today in this show five pounds 95 maybe a special one off for today don't risk it grab it while you have the opportunity at 5.95 let's do it slash that price <laughs> I was watching Mask of Zorro at the weekend, actually. <laughs> at four pounds, I was, I was, I was watching the, that, thinking, oh, I'd love to be Catherine Zeta-Jones. She's beautiful, isn't she? She's at, and she gets to be with Antonio Banderas, which can't be a bad day's filming. Four pounds forty-five. Gorgeous, gorgeous, puffy agate. Those glorious, hot, hot pinks. Oh, 800 655 is a free phone, telephone number, and of course on the web, all the w's.jewelrymaker.com. That's a 38 centimeter strand. If I hold it up to the neckline, I just think these make really fun summery pieces. And if you are thinking about making your jewelry, perhaps with your, uh, with your daughter, with a friend, I think they've got a really fun quality to them. They really are, aren't they? £4.45, you can make some lovely little charms to dangle off that as well if you wanted to. But so easy to do, obviously, with your stretchy jewellery elastic, uh, with your wire. Obviously, we've got lots of wire, um, sort of, obviously, today. It's a gizmo focus show, so that is coming up. £4.45, it's all I'm going to be going on about today. Um, well done. Congratulations if you're taking those. We've got lots to get through. And, in fact, we're going to do... Should we go for the purr? Now, I've, these are lovely. This is sort of... Um, I describe this as, as, as sort of a, a mystic peacock sort of tone that, that, that you're seeing. I think when you look at them, first of all, I, I, if you were to sort of just very quickly glance at these, it might be that you thought that was hematite, actually, because it's got that lovely sort of luster. But actually, when you look a bit closer, you've got different colour tones. I don't know how well you're seeing that at home, but there are, I, I, I'm seeing lovely hints of emerald green and beautiful sort of fuchsia pinks within every single one of those gemstones. Very, very nice size. And you've got these beautiful beautiful pearls here pearls are classic we know that whether it's the classic white pearls the cream pearls or whether you've got some of the, the more sort of funky colors they look absolutely stunning don't they and these are just going, going to add such a different dimension into anything that you're working with very very beautiful obviously actually i do have hematite here if i show that with you with the hematite you can then see 
you can prob probably see there a little bit more of the color tones, the flashes of greens and sort of pinks. That's very, very beautiful, isn't it? So again, it's going under five pounds, 38 centimeter strand of gorgeous pearls, pearls for under five pounds. You suddenly actually realize what you're saying sometimes. Just for a single pair of pearl earrings, I mean, I've got my pearl earrings now, and I can tell you, even though I bought these from Gems TV, these weren't five pounds. But you don't expect to get an entire well, strand. Well, exactly. You know, if you wanted to just focus on pearl earrings, you're going to make a lot. But it, mm, even you could easily yeah. just re-strand that, couldn't you? Has a beautiful pearl necklace. Yeah. Yes, and you can get two strands and get yourself a necklace, bracelet, earrings, and bracelet for somebody else. <laughs> exactly. You're going, to, you're going to have loads left over still. So for under ten pounds get two strands you will use them you will absolutely use these you've got that wonderful iridescence that you're seeing in there the greens and the pinks very very classic indeed i'm at 106 triple four six double five they are eight millimeter rounds now i need to say because i didn't say that so i, I apologize these aren't your classic um, pearls your chinese pearls these are shell pearls so let me just um, uh, reiterate the difference there because i've led you to believe that they're genuine pearls i thought they were that's why i'll be honest with you uh, these are, you've got the little re that means reconstituted so what we've done here is to take the iridescent lining of, of a mollusk or an oyster where you would normally perhaps find the pearl inside taking that iridescent lining like the mother of pearl and crush that down and reconstitute it to form the look of a pearl so it's still from organic material but we've given you that look but you've got this perfect spherical look so I'm, I'm never going to disregard shell pearl I think it's an incredibly clever way of offering you absolute sort of perfection in terms of this spherical look I don't I, 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 I seriously wonder if they were genuine round pearls like this spherical pearls that perfect whether we would even actually be able to get those under five pounds but that is exactly what's going to happen remember these are your shell pearls we could have at least done 4 dollars couldn't we? But we go that one step further. We always go one step too far, don't we, at Jewelry Maker? £4.45, but look how gorgeous. If you were just to simply restrand those, they'd be very, very elegant indeed. You could have a lovely centrepiece. You can make yourself a gorgeous pendant, perhaps wire wrapped to dangle away from that pearl necklace. But definitely I'd take two. You've got to have a matching bracelet and a matching pair of earrings here. Even if it's one sort of pearl, or perhaps a drop of three from a head pin, I think would look very, very classic indeed four pounds 45 on 800 six triple four six double five don't you think that's unmissable under four, even with your one set of pmp get involved they are gorgeous so in fact let me show you the labradorite i'll show you the labradorite with this because uh, hematite sorry <clears throat> There we go. You can see just how fantastically well that works, isn't it? I love the cut of the hematite. Very, very beautiful. Are we doing the hematite now, did we say? Yes, I'm, I'm just I'm miles away. I'm thinking I've just dreamt that. So you've got these lovely cones. I think personally, this cut lends itself to dangly earrings, don't you? Dangly earrings. Oh, yes. Definitely. Or beautiful. charms. Little charms from your bracelet or your necklace. I think you've got that drop. It's ready, to, it's ready to be used, isn't it? That lovely sort of um, at fasting as well that obviously adds so much luster Tear to the drops, hematite. Teardrops in they a are. Um, really elegant evening necklace. Beautiful, you could have a lot of those sort of yes, coming down, yeah, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah. A waterfall again, a cascade of hematite. And it looks so expensive, I think, hematite. Again, that's something very, very beautiful. This is gorgeous. Jazz hands, you look guilty on, on camera there. What are you doing? You look guilty. I'm just making sure I'm not in shock. Making sure you are, you're, you're right bang in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 800 six triple four six double five for hematite. Little little Bambi, I should call you, shouldn't I? So everybody knows you as little Bambi. But I was. Jazz hands is fine. Jazz hands is fine. <laughs> uh, we've got his because he used to wear a little white glove when he was handling jewellery, so we just called him Jazz enough. hands. That's where that's where it started from, wasn't it? He had his white or white gloves. It wasn't just one, was it? It was a uh, pair two, of white. Yeah, yeah. yeah, two white gloves. So we used to give say, okay, give us Jazz hands. Ta da! No, it was when he was working. He didn't just used to wear one white glove just for a trend thing. <laughs> like Michael no. Jackson. Like Michael Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get involved. <laughs> we are going, we are going <laughs> under five pounds. <laughs> under five pounds for hematite. Faceted drops, four pounds ninety-five. Again, add them to your order. Good morning, welcome to Jewelry Maker if you're just tuning in. 
get these home. So many of you love the hematite drops and it's easy to see why, isn't it? Very, very beautiful. I can see you on the telephone lines. Congratulations. At this price, why wouldn't you? At this price, why wouldn't you be on the telephone lines? Because that is just superb. 0800 644 655. £4.95, 0800 644 655, hit option one and stay where you are. On the web, of course, all the w's.jewelrymaker.com. You can see just that gorgeous, gorgeous faceting. Every single one of those gems, those, those sort of little kite shapes that you can see, every one gorgeous, 15 by seven millimeters. They look fantastic as bracelets, as, as drops for earrings, and even to sort of decorate a necklace on the decollatage. Uh, very, very beautiful. 4.95, great, great, great work on that. Huge congratulations. Add it, add it, add it, add it to your order. You'll regret it if you don't. If you're watching one of the repeat shows later on, of course, today, give them a try, give it a whirl. You might find that there's a couple more available and you might be lucky enough to take that home. 4.95, well done, congratulations. Let's move on. Let's squeeze one more in, shall we? Shall we do, oh, I've got to do, got to do the Labradorite. Classic Labradorite as well. Now, Labradorite takes its name from the Labrador Peninsula in Canada where it's first sourced. We go to lots of different locations now. And also the Labrador, the, the very location, that's where Labradors come from. I always thought somebody was winding me up when they said that, but it's true apparently. Did you know that, Jack? See, I didn't know that either until a couple of weeks ago. Labrador Peninsula in Canada, we get Labradorite and Labrador dogs from. No, I didn't know that. I just thought somebody was pulling my leg. I just thought it was too, it's too, it's too convenient. Too convenient. And actually, the Labrador dogs, we send down the mines for the Labrador. We don't. That's, we don't. We don't do that. <laughs> Before we get the RSPCA in complaint. That's, that's, the, that's a joke. Uh, Labradorite is one of my favourite gemstones because it's got this amazing Labrador essence. Look at that. That wonderful blue that you can see. It's not just the blues. You get the yellow flashes in here as well. But lovely, lovely iridescence there. This gorgeous, gorgeous gemstone. This metallic light shimmer. Look at that. They're so cute, aren't they? Big size as well, 10 millimeters. Yes, very, very cool. nice. Always reminds me, not that I've ever done this, and I always say this, but it reminds me with Labradorite sometimes, if you imagine perhaps a, a moonlight, perhaps you're in a dark forest or, and it's moonlight, and the moonlight's just cutting through the trees and you get that sort of, that, that beam. Yeah, it's just me. <laughs> That's just me. Okay, get involved. It's gonna go under five pounds, under five pounds for Labradorite, 290 carats of gemstone beautiful really really fabulous and i just think labradorite works so well daytime or evening time you can dress this up so easy you can make them look incredibly incredibly expensive or you can just leave just leaving them as they as they are maybe you could link those together but they look absolutely fab and that labrador essence that you're getting is superb absolutely top quality labradorite that's what it's about we don't want to settle for less but they look really really quite stunning don't they Four pounds ninety-five. Oh eight four five six four four six five five. Stay on those telephone lines. Any of those pieces you want to take home under five pounds, give us a call. And of course, they're all on the woo. They're all on the website. Woo. All on the website for you right now. Shall we have another newbie? I think we shall. I've got a, I've got a bit of a dragon here for you. Bit of a dragon-inspired theme. These are fabulous. Loving these. Now, these are some of your favourites, aren't they, Jack? We like these. We like these a lot. Look at the pattern that you're getting on here. Aren't they gorgeous? Absolutely fantastic. You've got, I love it. You can see why you've got that sort of dragon skin um, uh, sort of feel to these. They look absolutely beautiful. Something, again, really, really different. You've got that wonderful shell here again. But you can see it's almost like a, a dragon scale or almost like a little bit like a fish scale if you want to there. But it's a really pretty pattern, isn't it? I love it. And they're all totally different. I mean, look at that one. Look at the, those two side by side, side by side, side by side work very, very well. But if we move, if we move to the top one there, you've got completely different patterns. Every one totally unique, totally different. I wonder if we flip that over doesn't match up it's not going to you've got different patterns on every single one of these lovely sized uh, gemstones as well beautiful I don't know the size of these they're coming in but they're very very nice indeed 15 mil are they maybe a bit more than that so it will see but you can see lots of different colors gorgeous gorgeous Go aren't they gorgeous really pretty color tones you've got lovely sort of actually lovely sort of flashes of cherry reds in there as well
Now we are a little bit on go slow with our graphics this morning. I do apologize. I do apologize. Just We're just willing them to come in now. Willing them to come in. I have to apologize for our graphics. It's kind of out of our hands. They just, they're just obviously, they They've obviously realized the sun's shining outside today and they've just gone, oh, I'm just gonna chill out a little bit. I'm just gonna relax a little bit, take it slowly. Come on, graphics. Oh, 806 555 will be the number, will be the number you need to call when we get a chance to do this. But um, I'll hold them up to the neckline. You can have a little bit of a look at these. But um, I don't know, there we go. Just totally different, isn't it, with that pattern on there? Completely different, but very, yay, hurrah. So there we go, mother of pearl, dragon scale printed coins. 20 millimeters, dragon scale. You know what I'm thinking, don't you, Jack? Do you remember calling me a dragon a couple of weeks ago? Yeah, I was just remembering that. Yeah, it's one of the, one of the first times we met, he called me a dragon. It's not very nice, is it, Rachel? It's not very nice, not how to make friends. <laughs> He meant lion, I have to say. Oh. I had a hairband in it and I had big hair. He said I looked like I've got mane of hair. And he went, oh, you look like a dragon. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but, you know, I started to breathe fire and he turned into a pile of dust, so it's all fine. We've got Mother of Pearl, your dragon scale, 20 millimetres, and I'm never going to let him forget it. Are you ready for the price? This is new in 0800 brand new... Hold on, we're out of the under five pounds section. All right, four pounds 95, let's not add back on. Four pounds 95, we're in brand new selection now uh, for your mother of pearl, something different with that dragon scale effect there. Just lovely different patterns, lots of different color overtones. You can certainly see sort of, sort of the coppers and the rustic reds that are coming through in some of those, but you've got that lovely silvery overtone, that lovely deep seductive color in there. Every one totally, totally different. Silvers and grays, four pounds 95 for your dragon scale printed coins, your mother of pearl. So you've got that organic base for the gemstone there. 495, call us on 800 644 655. Very, very beautiful opportunity indeed to do this today. So do give that a go, do give that a whirl because they are just fab. You've got 38 centimeters, of course, in terms of length and you will get your booklet. You'll get your booklet and you'll get your DVD in, in, um, in there as well. Sorry, I'm, I'm stuttering because Rachel's just started to use the gizmo and I'm like that. Hawkeyes, I'm just watching everything. Uh, she, she, will, she will show us, don't worry, she will share. Uh, four pounds, but I'm so easily distracted this morning. Uh, four pounds 95 on the web, all the w's.jurymaker.com. Do stay there. Congratulations, because I think we need to bring you a brand new kit, quite frankly, right now. I think it's time to introduce our first brand new kit. Now, I do have for you this morning, three kits. This is the first one. Uh, we've got, they're all completely different. Um, this, is, this is lovely. Chocolate candy. Even the name's gorgeous, isn't it? So this is our chocolate candy kit. And actually, although you've got three strands in essence here, I would suggest you've got four because actually you can see there you've got a double strand of the mother of pearl. You've got a double strand in there with the pyrite. This is phenomenal. And then you've got those huge slabs in the center, that wonderful agate that you're seeing in the center, that lovely sort of mix of, of chocolates and lattes and, and, and cappuccino colors, toffee tones that are running all the way through those big, beautiful discs of brown agate. Your flat coins are 30 millimeters, so big that equates to, uh, big 30 millimeter flat coins. White shell, that's the small nuggets. Well, small nuggets, I think they're quite big actually, four by three to eight by six, but it is a 90 centimeter strand. <laughs> Excuse me. So definitely you've got more than your double strand there. If we're saying 38 centimeters approximately for a single strand, obviously 90 centimeters, you're getting more than a double strand. And plus the half moons. Now I've not actually presented the half moons of the pyrite before, the little crescent moons there. So they're new to me. Obviously I'm quite familiar with the drops, with some of the facets, the rondelles, but I've not seen the little crescent moons. So I think they're really opening up a whole different world in terms of your designs. Could be incredibly creative with those. Again, they'd make just a very lovely, simple pair of earrings potentially. Perhaps bracelets, necklaces, we will find out. We will be inspired by Rachel uh, in, in several moments. But your chocolate candy jewelry kit, 
doesn't just provide you with these strands, you also get a lot of solid sterling silver in here. You get your silver ball head pins, which are 40 millimeters long, two millimeter ball uh, on, on, the, on, the, uh, on the head pins. You also get your bolt ring clasp and jump ring, 10 of your crimp beads, and two pairs of nine to five solid sterling silver shepherd hooks. Along with that, 50 meters of beading thread, six plus meters of elastic, and of course 150 meters of monofilament wire. That's a lot, that's a lot. And you get your organza gift bags. You get one large and one small of your gift bags, and they are great to A, keep your gemstones in, but also if you are wanting to sell your jewelry, you can see on there they all say handmade gemstone jewelry. So that will give you a really, really good start great way to really get involved with your jewelry making is to start off with a kit because alongside this you will get your free booklet your free dvd and of course you get your monthly magazine regular customers regular viewers love the kits i'm sure you're watching right now thinking oh i could do this with that or i could add those in for this obviously your mother of pearl perfect perfect uh, your white shell sorry i keep saying mother of pearl i beg you put in your white shell that you're seeing there fabulous summer gemstone fantastic you could even just just sort of re-thread those you can make a fabulous chunky bracelet or necklace to, to, to just put on with your sarong and your flip-flops if you're heading down to the beach it won't be long it won't summer is coming it's coming but of course you've got an entire kit here you want to know how much it's going to be good. All of the kits this morning are fabulous prices for how much you're getting for everything in there from the silver to the wire to the thread. And of course, this amazing amount of gemstones with a 90 strand. It's only 24.99, 24 for all of these, for all I expect as I've got a longer strand in there, as I, as I, as I can see a 90, strand, a 90 centimeter strand, I expect this to be much, much more. This is for the serious, serious customers that are watching. I'm sure a lot of you are gonna be inspired by this. At 24 pounds, 19.5, is it something different? It's a completely different look, isn't it? To have this mix, I'll be honest with you, when I looked at this, I thought, oh, okay, I wouldn't, and I'd, maybe you're the same. If these were just single strands mixed up with lots of other pieces, I don't know as I would have selected these three different strands together, personally, but to see them and to see what Rachel has actually come up with and created, definitely they work. They definitely, definitely work. You may choose to just pick out a strand or two of those and maybe you've got other gemstones you want to bring in, but they look glorious. You've got sort of cookies and creams, cookies and creams in there, which I think is gorgeous. And that gorgeous, gorgeous uh, collection of 30 pieces, 30 pieces of nine to five sil uh, uh, sterling silver. Again, it's a lot of silver and it goes a long way. 24 95 they are beautiful, aren't they? And I know that I know a lot of us always go back to the solid sterling silver, so we can never have enough of that in our collection. And it's a great way of adding the silver findings in when you're buying a kit, because they do, you, you, you use them. You absolutely use them, but you can see there all of the different shapes that you're getting from this kit, including, I love those. I mean, that's probably giving you a bit of an idea already, isn't it, how you could strand those? They're naturally falling. They're naturally falling that way. Crescent moons of pyrite beautiful beautiful agate and of course the white shell nuggets in there as well fabulous 24.95 now i want you to feel as inspired about this kit as we are here at jewelry maker so come with me come with me if i get out and we shall have a look at what rachel has been creating and i have to say prepare prepare to be impressed because they look rachel these are fantastic thank you very much these are absolutely... Now, how did you feel about the kit? Because um, I was very honest and I said I possibly wouldn't have, have maybe was, selected those strands um, together. I would say difficult combination of gemstones, mm. but what I did, I, I, come, I thought the brown agate went very well with the, um, the creamy vanilla um, mm. shell chip, so I sort of combined them mostly with that. And I think it saved the moons um, for different pieces for... for Working with other with other yep. gemstones, personally, which you can do when you've got a kit. Mm, you can, yeah. And so you can get all these pieces out of out, out of this kit. But then again, I think if you just combine and look at the the pieces made with the um, coffee wow. agate and the um, the shell, mm -hmm. um, I've also uh, two kits are sent out to me, and I made some design alternatives, just showing. You know, uh, just uh, almost isolated. Pieces. Yes. Um, so just 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 to let mm. you know what what Rachel's. Done. So mm. all of these that you're seeing on here were these all from one kit. That's all from one kit. Okay. And so that's almost all every gemstone. Brilliant. Because we sent so. Rachel two kits. Um, 
don't know why, but you managed to get two kits. So Rachel took advantage of that, quite rightly so. Uh, so she can show you some alternatives. But I have to say, that pendant is amazing. I'm really loving that. Thank and they you. naturally gravitate to, to sort of spin um, around like can, that, don't they, in terms of the shape put of them? them? Put them on the mat and make lots of different patterns with them. I mean, the problem with that was just getting them to sit and stay still. And so mm. the wiring in is to, to actually help them stop rotating and moving about. Beautiful. But you can make flower shapes, um, um, lots of different, um, almost like caterpillar shapes. Mm -hmm. If you can see that in the, um, oh, the necklace the over there, you can make little long caterpillar shapes um, with the um, moons sort of lying down underneath each other. And that's just using he rolled head pins, um, mm -hmm. looping up from one to the next to the next. Beautiful. And they really, I mean, they receive the, 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 um, the shell really, really easily, don't they? The shell nuggets. It's kind um, of like you've got the little mm, basket of the pyrite. That's right. You could also and use other gemstones and pop a little sort of round amethyst bead mm -hmm. in there um, and other gemstones sort of can sit in that little disc yep. quite happily. Absolutely. And I love that bracelet. That's so simple. But it looks really, really pretty. You've got a gorgeous little, just choosing mm. one, one of those pyrite gemstones on a head pin. And you've got just a very, very beautiful sort of uh, little charm. Mm. So what's Rachel going to show? What do we want to? I was just going to quickly show you the design alternative. Oh, okay. It's all, on a, all on a stretchy. Um, oh, clever. If you want to show um, that. Oh, that's pretty. So this was from the second kit that we sent out to Rachel. And also but showing lovely. some of the, the pattern. That's all on stretchy, and you use, use it as a lariat necklace, so you're just literally threading that through. Right. All on stretchy, and you can wear that on the beach. You've got no risk of anything corroding. Fabulous. Um, because there's no silver in there, so you can mm. wear it in a salty sort of um, nice. in, in beach environment. Quite so happily. we can feel like Elizabeth Taylor yeah. <laughs> yes, with, our, with our jewellery on the beach. <laughs> Not quite emeralds and rubies, but yeah. it's a start. It's a start. And, and we also have... It's to show the patterning oh, um, love it. and the way that you can fold those gemstones together. That's um, gorgeous. And that's just simple stranding through with beading thread. Wow. And you can create that um, pattern. And obviously I'd put a, maybe a different <laughs> bead at the other end. That is beautiful. But you beautiful. see, that's how you, could, how you could also use them. Gorgeous. Fantastic. And so you've got and a lot here. We've also got. And I thought also with wire, black wire, mm -hmm. you could. I hadn't got time because I hadn't. I'd run out of gemstones by That's that right. stage. But you could wrap um, moons onto sort of a black squiggly. That would look lovely, um, it? And it'd be really it's a good sort of gothic midnight Is piece. Is that a technical term? Squiggly. <laughs> squiggly, yes. Black squiggly. Squiggly bracelet. Um, Fabulous. Because I've, 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 I'd run out of and I'd use them up for something else. Mm. But I just brought that along just to show you. So Brilliant. All these design alternatives you could. That's what we like. We like know. the ideas. Gorgeous. Okay. So we've, are we going to have a bit of a demonstration Yeah, I was thinking now? we could try and make the um, flat uh, wrap pendant. Yes, please. So this particular pendant here, mm. this bottom drop, does this mean we get to start to look at the, a bit of the gizmo action? Ah, well, I sort of um, cheated and made the gizmo calls already. Do you mind? <laughs> do you mind? That's Only all right. because <laughs> it's going to take long enough to make the pendant. Exactly. And I think exactly. we'll do some coiling later on. So don't worry, um, we, will, we will look at the gizmo. Yes. Um, so... Uh, uh, yes, basically, I've chosen uh, one really nice stone mm -hmm. from the um, um, kit. Um, so as you've got the agate. That's a beautiful um, stone. Nice and you use the it. drill hole through with this setting, so I thought you could set it up like that, like a little um, horizon with some sky and things like that. And I take some one mil wire, and I'm just going to make the loop through for the, um, to run it through the pendant, first mm -hmm. of all. So using the round nose pliers, I'm just going to make my little loop. I might have to have the pin next to me just so I remember exactly what I did. That's okay. Very sorry, that. darling. And then um, that's me being, so I'm just, then I work from it. <laughs> so I've made a little round loop. I'm just going to wrap that to, to four, and I'm going to leave a little bit of wire left at the bottom. Right. Okay, then what I've done is made a very, very tiny little section of gizmo coil. Uh, would you like me to show, show you how to make the call or should we just progress straight on and thread it on? Um, I could just thread it straight on actually. Right. It's a, it's a yes. tiny little chunk of gizmo. It might even be in the end, end bit that you haven't sort of used on anything else. And just thread it straight on to the wire. Now, next, I'm going to use some mm. plat. And this is just um, 0.6 millimeter wire plaited um, into, I uh, use nine little strands of it, just a very, very right. short length. And I'm going to bend it into shape, just around the pendant, first of all, to get its shape, because uh, I'm going to use a hole to thread it, thread the wire through. So 
Again, you must tell me when I'm out of shot because I'm absolutely dreadful at getting out, becoming out That's of shot. Right. I think I think something's wiggled actually. But yeah. We'll move you. We'll move yeah. you to about there. There. Okay. <laughs> wow. That's an eight. That's one. So there we are. So we've got a sort of basic um, wrap around the pendant. Lovely. And what I'm then going to do is use one of the holes, which I hope I've sensibly left. If not, you just little widen a little hole at the bottom because mm -hmm. I'm going to just thread the um, whole lot through before I get to the next stage a bit through the pendant as well so remember which way was that one to the bottom of the pendant <laughs> oh, yeah, little, yeah. little Bambi in the gallery is asking how do you do a plait oh. we'll teach you you know how to do a plait jazz hands I did it last time I was on so he's just on said left over middle right over middle <laughs> There we go, you see? The only thing you do is just make sure that every so often, you can do it with your hands, but every so often you just need your flat nose pliers just to hold the wires flat and stop them twisting over each other. Right. So you sort of clamp, clamp um, as you plait, just mm -hmm. a little clamp just before you, you pull it through to the plait, yep. and it helps keep the, the wires in parallel. Okay. So we're starting, you can see the assembly of the pendant is starting to form already. I won't do this final wrap until the end. And I don't need all of this wire, so I'm going to trim a bit off because I'm just going to wrap it around the top okay my cutters um, and obviously because it is why you're not your plat's not going to just sort of disappear suddenly is it I'm using the, the large tool kit cutters mm -hmm. which are come in red and this is where the wire goes all over the place I'll, I'll stand back and close my eyes I have to just take there we are wire goes everywhere sorry about that Sorry. and a bit on the other side just leave a little bit more because I don't mind having a little bit too much wire because I can always cut it off at the end. Okay, that's um, scrap wire now. So, taking some of the of the wire, I'm just going to start to wrap it around the wire at the top of the pendant. This is where I normally have this right up to my face. So forgive me if I'm mm -hmm. not really showing you perfectly because I can't see, <laughs> see from this, <laughs> doesn't it? So forgive me, everybody. I'm starting to wrap it round. I might have to bring it closer to me just so that I can see that I'm doing it properly. Yeah. Because this is an unnatural position for me. I'm sorry. Um, and I would do this normally a lot tidier, but I don't really want to. You're okay. going to hide all this with the gizmo yeah. coils. So start squishing it down. I can always trim, trim mm -hmm. these ends away. So I'm really fixing that wire together. That's gone loose. So just make sure you've got it all. I don't want some of these ends, so some of the, these ends will get trimmed away. Mm -hmm. Just make sure that's that's looking okay, isn't it? It's yeah. not perfect, but I'm obviously gonna you're going to have more time at, than this at home. So. Yeah. So I mean, these this this will actually help bulk out the little the top I like making it almost look like a watch fob right you know and it's that feeling of um, quality and antiquity and all of that comes mm -hmm. with the pieces that I make so we've got the plat set around the pendant stone Lovely. now I'm going to start making the um, thing I've just forgotten one of the little um, forgive me I've just got to get one That's little right. brown so remember all which of this I is from the chocolate candy drawing yes. kit it's just using, so you can, apart from the wire, obviously. Just using one stone, you know. So I'm using a short length of, again, I think I've used this, this is 0.8, this is 0.6. You can see the difference between the thickness of the, the coils. That's made with 0.8 and right. 0.6. Yep. 0.6 is just a bit much more flexible, 0.8 is stronger. Okay. So I'm going to use 0.8, it doesn't matter, you can use 0.6 for the um, pendant bale, but I'm just going to cut a length about 40 millimetres long for the bale just so that you know you can fit it through anything mm -hmm. I'm going to pop that on and start making the bale up oops threading the wire through I just hope I've done this better than I normally do for everybody and then start bringing that tight up with your fingers pulling that round and then I'm just going to hold and start binding. Let's start binding a little bit round, hiding all those little bits of wire which I would normally <laughs> tucked away a bit better till I reach the base. Mm. Makes such a difference, doesn't yeah. it, as well? It might actually come up again. 
because you can either wind from the, in fact, I wound with this one, I wound from the base to the top. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. And you can actually wind from top to the bottom if you like. It doesn't matter. It just works out where you, where you, um, where you just put the, um, tuck the ends of the wires away. Now, as you can see a little bit of tag of wire. I don't like that. I'm going to get rid of it. You can see the little tag of wire there. You can yep. bend them in with your little pliers. Just make sure when you finish your piece, you run your hands over everything to make sure there's no little tags of wire and you just um, tuck them in. Now I'm threading that coil on. Now I'm going to start. Now this is the front of the piece. It doesn't really matter because it's actually, uh, I pushed that coil right on to mm -hmm. the wire. I'm holding it firmly. I'm going to start binding round and round. This is where it slips. Again, I might have to move it closer That's to me. Okay. Forgive me, everybody. No, you can do that. Because That's I easier. need to give it a bit more welly. I think something like this as well. I never really expect that you've you got see? the wire inside. I I've just held. thought it was the coil. Now, what I've done is, I'm just going to bend that round. I've used too much coil. Mm -hmm. So if you find you've done that, all you can do, you have to be a bit careful, <laughs> is snip a bit close. And don't make sure you don't snip the main wires is what's going to happen. Being a bit silly, I didn't actually cut the... You can feel the tension. Yeah, don't. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I cut the wire, I stretch so it out. You can cut into your coil, but you don't want to cut in the centre. No, you don't want to cut the coil wire because it's a disaster. And we've, we've had, had one of those mornings already, haven't we? <laughs> we don't need any more disasters. So I've stretched that bit. I'm going to just go with my fingernails, push that back a bit, and then continue binding. You see, I'm binding Fabulous. round. Yep. And I'm finished. Oh, no, I haven't quite, because I've got to do the other end. It's got a little end, the end tail. Yeah, I'll take that in. So cut that quite close into the bale. Tuck that in out of the way. You could put a, you could make a little squirrel if you like, or a little loop, or something like that to make a little bit of... Uh, we're nearly there. Mm -hmm. And all I'm going to do is just hold it, use your flat nose pliers, just hold tight and just bend around, just to anchor that base um, coil. And it just, just adds a little bit of off. bulk. Yeah, you could uh, you could hang some chain from that. And I'm just going to just snip that off. And we've made ourselves an, a really nice pendant. Centre that. And there we go. Fantastic. So there we go. go, so that's your pendant. So if you want to have a go at that, remember you'll need to add in the wire to your order as well. So that's get your vessel. chocolate candy kit. <laughs> Neither way, it's beautiful, Thank fabulous. You. And it, again, it looks so easy. So very exciting. That's one of our first introductions today to the gizmo. Very excited. Yeah. Thank you, Rachel. Yeah. We will catch up with you again a little bit Thank later you, on. Ruth. So hopefully that might have given you a little bit of inspiration mm -hmm. in terms of sort of just starting your collections. Now, before we carry on, I need to say a big hello, not to you out there, but come in, ladies. We've got a beading course happening today here um, in the studio. Hello. Not everybody's <laughs> making an appearance, but that's fine. <laughs> hello, hello. How are you, Hannah? I'm good. Looking I'm lovely good. again today. Is that you? I'm loving the outfit. Well, I, I thought the, about the, the sun's spree. out. Did you? Yeah, yes. I we had a that, yeah. had a good shopping <laughs> spree yesterday, <laughs> myself and Carol. Some of it's going back, I have to say. Just <laughs> yeah, one or two pieces. Aww. Not much, not much. So, how are, how are you doing, ladies? Are you having a nice yeah, tour? Yes, is this your first time with us in the studio yeah. here? or yeah. yeah, so it's all... Is it what you expected or...? It's really interesting. Yeah, yeah it is, isn't it? Just see how everything works. Do you want to give everybody a wave at home, by the way? Because this, this is your five minutes of fame, so you've got to milk it. Does <laughs> anybody anybody want to say hello to while you're here? Mm -hmm. Family no, or friends or...? No, no. No? I'll just, just, hello, just, mom. Yeah. <laughs> hello, mum, daughters, cousins, yeah. everybody. Yep, yeah. give them all a wave. All right. yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> So these are our ladies that are coming into our beading course today. I will catch up with you until sort of early this afternoon. Yeah. yeah I'll yeah. come and catch up with you afterwards and we'll have a, I'll see what you've been creating, see what you've been making. Okay, so um, enjoy your day. Thank you very much for coming in to see us. And we should go to a very short break. But join us after this because we've got loads more to share with you. New to jewellery making? Then why not come and join us on our Beading for Beginners course? Join guest designer Cherry Green as she takes you through all the basic techniques to create your very own necklaces, earrings and bracelets. You will learn a variety of skills, all of which will help you get started in jewellery making. During the course of the day, you'll get to have a backstage tour of the studios, meet the presenters and have a trip to our jewellery shop. The full course includes beading thread, a generous scoop of mixed gemstones, a 925 sterling silver findings pack, use of all relevant tools, a buffet style lunch and refreshments. 
All this for just £79.95. For details on course dates and availability, phone our call centre now on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Well, here at Jewellery Maker, we have absolutely everything that the experienced jewellery maker requires. We also have absolutely everything that a beginner would require. But for the more experienced jewellery maker who has probably encouraged their own creativity, perhaps by buying the kits in the first place, they then move on and, and become able to look at the gemstone uh, strands that we carry and the findings and almost make up their own kits, their custom-made kits and then they're able to put together a beautiful piece of jewellery, possibly that they've even seen in, in, a, in a store in the high street or something, but put it together themselves and there's nothing more rewarding than doing just that. You can now keep in touch by liking Jewellery Maker UK on Facebook. Get interactive with Jewellery Maker. If you have a question or query for Jewellery Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewellerymaker.com. Want to advance your polymer clay techniques? Then why not come and join us on our new Geometric Designs course? Join guest designer Debbie Bulford as she guides you through numerous techniques including the woven and basket weave canes, checkerboard canes, Celtic canes and much more. If you're looking to create timeless handmade jewellery, then this is the course for you. During the course of the day, you'll get to have a backstage tour of the studios, meet the presenters and take a trip to our jewellery shop. The full course includes black and white clay, a colour clay pack of your choice, use of all tools, buffet style lunch and refreshments and all for just £67.95. For details on course dates and availability, contact our call centre now on 0800 644 655. We look forward to seeing you. Welcome back. Welcome back to Jewelry Maker. Um, we are going to continue now with another brand new strand. These are lovely. I've got sunstone coming up for you now. Don't forget, I've got two more kits coming up later on in the show. Um, I've also, we're, we're going to share more of the gizmo with you with Rachel a little bit later on. Uh, so there's lots and lots that we want to bring to you today. If you are watching for the very first time, it's very nice to have you there. Um, have a look at these. These are very, very beautiful indeed. Such a lovely, lovely shape and just, just gorgeous gorgeous colour. Really summery but very rich, very earthy, very warm in terms of the colour tones that you're seeing. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous strand of sunstone. Beautiful, beautiful size pear cuts. Now you can see there straight away every single one of these gemstones is faceted. You've got that lovely checkerboard faceting from every one of the gemstones. You can see the different colour tones as well. We, we, you can see that lovely sandy colour tone, but you've got coppers and bronze tones and golds that are coming through in here as well. 90 carats of sunset Brazilian quartz faceted pear drop beads. Now you've got eight by eight millimetres, so you do have a very, very nice size indeed on these, but they're sort of the fatter pair, aren't they? They've got what we call a fatter bottom. Uh, so you've not got that elongated teardrop. You've got that, you've got that. Somebody was talking about this the other day saying they've got a fatter bottom. I quite like that. Uh, so you can see there <laughs> all of that, all of that faceting from the drops. Beautiful sunset faceted quartz. Every single one giving you gorgeous, gorgeous colour. They're new today and you can see there actually between every single gemstone, you've got a little sort of piece, a, sort of a tube of plastic if you like. Don't throw those away. I always thought when I saw these, you just snip them up and, and throw all the little plastic pieces away. And I remember sort of being on, on air with Sheila and Sheila going, no, don't do that. Because obviously we use everything here at Jewelry Maker. So keep them. You will find that you'll use those in your designs. And everything here at Jewelry Maker you need to hang on to. Don't throw them away. 
So brand new today, we're going to give the, we, we're going to make this an introductory price. How about that? As they're brand, brand new, we're going to do an introductory price. And what I like about this is they're quite delicate. You've got quite a delicate feel, not only in terms of the colour tones, but the size of those. They're not too sort of overpowering. You can make some very pretty, simple designs with these. But we need an introductory price, obviously, on the telephone lines, 800 655 And you can see just the most wonderful, wonderful colour tones in here. Let's make it a bit of a summer special, shall we? A bit of a summer sizzler. Nearly a summer sizzler out there, the sun's shining, but let's make the price a summer sizzler. Ready for this? Eight millimetre drops, pair drops for six ninety-five. We've had a lot of very, very low prices today, haven't we? This is another of them at six pounds ninety-five. Add to your order. Make sure that is coming home to you because you've just got an incredible, incredible opportunity there. Huge, huge congratulations. This is definitely one to take home, isn't it? The colours are rich and golden, and you've got some beautiful flashes of copper. Again, you can mix and match, because some of those have got more of a pinky tone in them. If you want to select a couple of those, match them together. And again, they'd make really lovely earrings, but you can see they're drilled towards the top, so they're going across the very top of that pair cut. £6.95, 0800, 644. 655 is it's a brilliant brilliant sort of strand that you can see and it will work with lots of other colors particularly think about your copper wire i would say the copper wire i think would look stunning with the sunstone yeah, and gold gold. And gold yeah go very right beautiful gold, yes. bring out a lot of the different tones in there wouldn't it mm. so 695 on this 0, 0800 644 655 for that strand very very nice that's a smaller strand i don't think that's is that 38 centimeters I don't know if that's a 38 cent. Oh, it might be actually, it's just it's double looped. Six pounds 95. Well done for 90 carats. 90 carats of Brazilian quartz. That is a pretty, pretty look, isn't it? Lots and lots to share. Lots to bring to you today. So well done, congratulations. Can I say, I think it's time. Deanna, I can't wait any longer. Can we do the gizmo? Can we do the gizmo bundle? gonna do it now we're gonna do it. I just cannot wait this this is the, the one thing I have been waiting for and I mean wait I'm talking come on Jack keep coming he's balancing he's like that it's like he's got a tray of tea or something dun, 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 dun. look at this now I know so many of you so many of you have been waiting for the gizmo um, it's back in stock we've got a good collection of these and we're delivering this as a bundle now I think this is absolutely spot on because I don't think just offering to you the gizmo on its own would be the right thing to do here. If you're getting the gizmo, you need wire to work with and you need tutorials. I, I've been waiting for so long for the gizmo. I've seen the different designs like Rachel, uh, that, that Rachel has brought to us here and I've been looking at them, but I've been thinking, I've no idea what to do with it. I've no idea actually how to use this little bit of machinery here. I wouldn't have a clue where to start. Obviously it's just going to roll the wire, but I'm not quite sure how to work with it and how to make the wire work. So we're giving you all of this the bundle now you can see here and i'm going to focus on the dvds first of all you've got three three of the dvds so we've got here this is edition one so you've got the edition one wire work dvd these are all with rachel you've mm. got edition two and then you've got the third dvd in there as well so these are all going to guide you through different designs different things that you can do yes. with your gizmo I start off with the basics um, DVD. I start mm -hmm. off with making the, sort of the clasps and using, making the, the very simple coils and then using and mi manipulating them into different shapes like clasps and yeah. things like that and, and uh, little hearts and things like that. And then the second DVD deals with the more, co that's the one with the flower on. Yeah. Um, comes on, I deal with the coil coils and manipulation of that and also dealing with the flower shapes. Mm -hmm. And then the last DVD with the rings on the front, that's um, dealing with colour mixing and um, further manipulation of, of coils and twisting and plaiting of coils. Right. So they just basically natural progress. So you're gradually getting more and more advanced. So you've mm. got really here, with a lot of bundles like this, you probably expect to get the bundle with the basics. But what we've done here is we've presumed you're going to be as addicted as we are. So mm -hmm. you're getting the first, the second and the third. So you're getting sort of the, the starter basic level, the medium and then the much more, uh, the, the advanced. But then look at the wire. All mm. of that wire, because you're going to get all of this. 
it's a great, great bundle because you've got this incredible combination of the Y. You're getting the six millimeter fuchsia, that's 10 meters. You're, sorry, the 0.6, six millimeter would be very large. 0.6 mil millimeter, 10 meter fuchsia Y. You're getting 0.6 of the copper. Again, 10 meters. If we go to the bottom, then you've got the 0.8, that again, 10 meters of the blue. Then you've got one millimeter of the blue again, which is 10, millimeter, uh, 10 meters. And then, uh, then you've got the 0.8 of the fuchsia, which is 10 meters. So be easy to have done that. So you've got the six and the eight of the fuchsia. You've got the eight and the one millimeter of the blue. And then last but not least, you've got the 0.6 of the copper. So this is a terrific bundle, isn't it? An incredible collection to be getting all of this. So if you are a little bit excited by this, this is your bundle. Plus, of course, the gadget itself, the gizmo itself. This is the piece of kit that you need. So this is your wire coiling gizmo. All the DVDs come in the box, so you can start to collect more of your DVDs and pop them in there. But it's a brilliant gift opportunity. It's a great set. And I know these are going to fly. And I know a lot of you, like me, have been waiting for this. We don't get special privileges in, in terms of saying, OK, can I just can I just grab one of these before anybody else? I've been waiting like you. Today, I'm going to get mine like you are going to get yours today. And I know you have been dying to see this. We are going to learn some tips from Rachel throughout this show today. It's very much a, a gizmo bundle sort of focus day today. Nothing wrong with that. Be on the telephone lines for this. It's a free phone telephone number 0800 644 655 or on the web www.jewelrymaker.com. Three DVDs, DVD box. You've got five different coils, five different coils of wire there. So actually you're getting 50 meters of wire, fuchsia, blue, and copper plus your actual wire coiling gizmo. So this is your strand, uh, sorry, this is your bundle. New today because we've been out of stock of the gizmo for a while, but you're getting this fantastic bundle. Are you ready for this? It, it, it's absolutely fantastic. We've, we've done the best that we possibly can to give you the opportunity to get the bundle. Dial now and let's get it down there. Let's get that price in. At 800 for 37 pounds 60, you're getting 50 meters of wire, 50 meters of wire, three DVDs in your box, and of course you're getting the gizmo. Now the DVDs, can you can be looking at five pounds a DVD, you've got three of them, plus your box, your gizmo, 50 meters of wire in there as well. This is literally your one-stop shop, of course. If this is your first opportunity, if this is your first chance, don't forget, you also get, if you're a, a first time buyer, you get your DVD, your booklet, and you get your monthly magazine. Now, doesn't that look like an amazing gift for £37.60? Use your gemstones of your choice yep. to work with it. Absolutely, and you. I mean, if you took one of the new strands that we bought to you earlier on, the under five pounds strands, add in that five pound strand, you've got a couple of gemstones to work with with your wire here, and you're off. You will be, you will be addicted, I'm sure. I'm so excited about get, having a go. Thirty-seven pounds sixty for your gizmo bundle. It's a terrific opportunity. If you have, of course, made a purchase with us, you still get your monthly. Uh, oh, wrong one. You still get your monthly magazine. So it looks absolutely spectacular, doesn't it? Well done. There's a lot of you on the telephone lines for this. I know you've been waiting. You've been waiting patiently. We've got less than thirty already. Wowzers! Congratulations. Less than thirty already. Now, if you're watching one of the repeat shows later on. Give it a go still, give it a go, because people may drop them out of their baskets, uh, people may change their minds, I doubt that will happen, uh, but you never know, £37.60, they are absolutely superb, aren't they? I need to see this little beauty in action. I need to see Rachel working with the gizmo. It, there's, now, if you're waiting on telephone lines, by the way, there's about a minute queue at the moment, but that's costing you time. It's not costing you in terms of, uh, in terms of your telephone bill because it's a free phone number. But I need to see this happening. So let's go and have a look, shall we? Very excited, very exciting day today here at Jewelry Maker. And of course, don't forget, I'll bring over, these should have names, really. <laughs> The little dragonfly, I think I said butterfly earlier on. The little dragonfly and the little fish. Text in with a name. Text in with a name for these because I think they need I think they need them. If you want to send us a text, send it to JM Studio. Uh, start it with JM Studio to 60777. It'll cost you your normal network charge. Have we, uh, have we already had a text this morning? 
not about not about the, the names for these that would be a super quick super quick text wouldn't it so give, send us your names for those uh, this is the text that we had earlier on this morning from Leslie hello Leslie in Shropshire oh, Leslie. Oh, Leslie said my seven-year-old daughter Sophie is off school today with a very bad tummy bug oh goodness me Sophie I hope you feel better soon uh, she loves JM and she's curled up on the sofa ready to learn gizmo it would be great if you could say hi to her oh, from hi Leslie Sophie. Hi, Sophie. Hope you feel soon. I hope you feel better but you've got a day off school Ooh. Yes. Day off school and you can watch and learn about the gizmo. So uh, may maybe we could name one of maybe we should name one of these, Sophie. The little dragonfly. The little dragonfly. Sophie. Sophie, should we name that after you? Should we have Sophie the dragonfly? Would that? Mm. I think we should. I think that should be Sophie. I'm taking a I'm taking a, a, a decision on that. So this will be Sophie the dragonfly. Very very. But hopefully your tummy bug will flutter away very soon. So if you can send us in an X in a, in, in the in the name for the little flying type carp fish <laughs> Golden fish, which I wasn't the golden quite sure fish. What it was. Well, we're not quite sure if you He's want to. Uh, fish. He's evolving, so maybe you can give us a, a name and a breed for the uh, for the fish, perhaps. So send us in a text for that. <laughs> now, gizmo time. Gizmo time is here. So, if you like me have never ever got your hands on a gizmo, what do we do? How right. does it start? How do we use it? Well, it comes. It's a very simple um, tool. It comes as the shape of a U-shaped bracket. Okay. Which you can clamp to a table, and you have to buy the G clamps, but they're very, okay. very cheap from um, DIY stores. You yep. can get three for you know um, five quid or something. Yeah. You might find cheap. your dad, your husband, whatever yes, has one in the, in the garage. Um, I would advise putting a little child's cardboard book or something um, on the top if you don't want to scratch your work surface. Right. Um, because you produce quite a lot of, sort of tension okay. and so just put a cardboard book um, underneath the little clamp and then it comes with two mandrels, um, one 3.6mm um, diameter and that's really good for making jump rings um, because um, it makes really good jump rings for the Byzantine links using one millimetre wire so that's really good and also making larger diameter coils and you get one which is one point um, uh, six millimeters in diameter and that's for this making the smaller coils and you can also adapt um, wire yourself to make um, even smaller diameter coils than that if you have one millimeter wire hammer it slightly um, to harden it you can actually wind even tiny coils around the one millimeter wire and, okay. gizmo, and also coat hangers cut down make large mandrels which fit Good in idea. really nicely there Good. so I think this one's 3.4 did we say 3.6 it's 1.6 and 3.4 is that right? Yeah. Or is it 3.6 and 1.6? 3.4 and 1.6. Right, okay, so 3.4 mm. and 1.6. Okay, yes. we're there. Right. Mm. Okay, right. Um, and so what we're going to do is make a very basic um, coil just to start off with, and then I'll start making the body of the, the butterfly. Okay. Um, so first of all, you need to wind the wire around the handle of the mandrel. And I've bent this from taking coils off for so long, it won't arrive like that for you. Um, wrap it round and then you need the wire coming towards you because you need okay. to be able to control and guide that wire. Bring it up close to the mandrel, oh, sorry the bracket and then start turning in a clockwise direction. This, this is coming around clockwise and you see a basic little coil forming. Um, right, should I turn that so you can see it a bit better? Okay. And you can see that little coil forming, it's a beautiful little coil. Just make sure, I'm going to deliberately go wrong Okay, if you start winding over, just turn it in the reverse direction and then feed it back on. And so if you start winding out too far, just push it back in uh -huh. and turn it back on. <laughs> so there's two, two, and you can squish with your hands and twist with your hands just to make sure that coil stays tight. So those of you have you know, mistakes that mm. happen. So such a simple thing, isn't it? For considering you get such an effective look. And I'm going to go quite quickly because I'm going to um, make the body of the um, butterfly, uh, which I want to be. So you're not actually got when you're winding that. You're not actually guiding that in terms of gradually pulling it to the right. Is that um, kind of naturally? No. Normally I sit actually with the wire, coil of wire on my lap. Right. Um, and it just feeds up from the lap so you just literally mm -hmm. you always need more wire than you think you're going to so I'm keep sure. it on the coil um, it's only when you're doing the coil coils that you cut the wire or no sorry you thread the other coils on to coil coils coil coils shall we do one of those then i'll take this off and then we can okay. do one of those okay there's sure. no problem to do the coil coils very quickly i'm going to take this away because that's ready for the body of butterfly i won't cut it off because i can just thread it back on again okay i'll take this away We'll use a different wire 
for the coral cores. What we'll do is I'll use some blue um, 0.6 millimetres and one way of um, making sure... So that's sure, what it looks like when you take it off yes, the Yes, yes, when the it's mandrel. finished. And you, sometimes it, it becomes very tight when you um, pull it off and the people will find it when they have their first mandrel that may be very tight. So what you do is you grip, pretend this is on tightly because it's not, we're going to have to sort of um, pretend. Um, and you grip and you twist and pull you grip at this end mm -hmm. so you don't distort or pull the coil apart and then pull it off and it, and you twist you, you might need to twist it off your first right. few goes okay that's just a common problem now we're going to make coil coils um, so you cut your coils into two um, or three or whatever as long as they're all the same length and then you can make sure that all your coils are the same length so I'm just going to cut that off to be the same length, trim it. So we've got two which are approximately the same length, but I'm going to do that with copper one millimetre wire. It doesn't matter what uses coil wire, depending on how strong you want your coil to be. I want to do two, two coils at the same time, so I'm going to use a different colour coil and it might actually show through, probably will show through as we coil so we can see. Threading them both onto the one millimetre wire, because I can do them both at the same time on the mandrel, which will save me a bit of time. You can do three or four on the same mandrel. Again, put the one millimetre core wire around the handle, with, again with the wire facing you, pop it in the smaller hole on the bracket. Start turning, and then feed this second coil on. Now push it hard with your fingers, and start twisting. And you can see the little copper mm. shows through. There's lo loads of techniques I show on the um, third DVD or second DVD showing how you can add um, wind wire in between these coils wow. and all these other things you can do lots of things another few coils and then I'm just going to thread the second one on that means you can cut in between you've got a little bit of section that you can cut in mm -hmm. between and you've got a um, nice few coils to I think it might be the turning, third DVD that that's keep on. turning yeah, I was, because one's basics and then it's one mm. and two it's actually two is actually three yeah there we go <laughs> And there we are, so we've got two wow. little coils. <coughs> Excuse me. And then cut, snip and cut. Um, again, these might just be a little bit difficult to, to, to um, take off. Again, use that gripping technique here and twist and pull. Actually, these are going to come off very easily because my mandrel's been used a lot of times. But just twist as you bring mm -hmm. them off and you've got your two wow. coils. And just snip. Um, with the cutters, snip in between, just try and get them even. So you've got an even number of coils in between. There we are, so you've got some coil coils ready for use later on. Fabulous. Now we can go on to the butterfly body. Yes. If we've got time. Now it won't <coughs> actually be that one, Ruth. We're going to okay. use it to, 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 as a gizmo, Fine. totally gizmo butterfly. Okay, totally. Um, because that's actually not using anything that's, um, that's just we weave work just actually. The, yes, okay. So. Uh, where did I put that? Oh, yeah. My, my coil I put on before, I'm going to thread back on. That's something you can do. You can take coils on and off and um, <laughs> put them back on again and use them for something else if you have to, as long as you leave that little tail of wire that you can actually wrap around. Now, I've got my butterfly body, which might be a bit long, so I can cut a bit off at the end. This is going to be the internal um, part of the, of the body of the butterfly, and then I'm just going to keep on wrapping with my wire around. So you're start coming making, back up? Yeah, I'm just going to make a sort of quite a rough oh. core for the body. Um, and yeah, that's why I normally have it on my lap. <laughs> that's all right, I'll be useful. So I'm going to be very quick about this. This uses a little bit of wire. You can always um, use beads in, as a string, but I was just using a sort of hmm. showing a gizmo technique of actually wrapping um, wire and then we're going to wrap a um, another spiral around. I'm going to gradually build up the wire towards the thorax and head end mm -hmm. um, with, so it shows the body and the tail end taper away. Okay, you can see it's slightly becoming bigger yeah. in the middle at the top. And you are wonderful, Ruth. Thank you so <laughs> much. There we are. Well done. There's any bits are a little bit irregular. You can see one's bits poking yep. up a little bit at the top. And um, you can always squash those down with the flat nose pliers. Get that, make that a little bit more right. regular all the way around. Now I'm going to just do a spiral detail for the body of the butterfly. So 
um, because I should have perhaps threaded that on before I started, I'm just going to cut a, a long length of wire weather cutters. There we go. And thread on a full length of um, coil, which is about ends up being about 14 centimetres. I'm threading that on to the body wire. And then again, pushing with your fingers. So you push that coil so it's hard onto the butterfly body. And I'm going to just adjust that a little bit because I want it a little coil at the top. Yeah. Hmm? A little bit similar to how I made the bale on the pendant. Start turning. got basic sort of body Side. coming off and then carry bring that down towards the tail end and I'm just going to put the beads on I'll snip that off use that I'm going to use that to wrap around the bead a little bit mm -hmm. to um, help secure the the beads take that off it ends up when when you're starting you end up with loads and loads of wire around the the handle it can really cut your hands so be careful always cut it off each time actually right because it's quite easy to fall into that. So, I'm now going to take this off the mandrel. This might be a lot more difficult to take off. So again, grip. Yes, this is hard to take off. Okay. So you just literally grip, you can cork, uh, sort of turn it. As you turn it, remember my fingers at this end, so I'm not going to pull and distort mm -hmm. that. There, and it comes off. But you can be quite forceful with that, can't you? If you as long as yes, you've got Yes, as long that. as you hold it at this end, it will keep the cores compressed together mm. rather than stretching and, and ruining your spring that you've got. So now we're going to just form that little body. So I need some point, I think I might go for point six wire because I want to make two antennae. Now if you want to use it to hang it as a pendant, I put 0.1 wire through and then wire on a separate piece, but I think that's too much for today. I think what we'll do is keep it like this. So I've cut a length of 0.6 wire and I'm going to thread a tail bead eye. I've got to remember how I was going to do it. Um, sorry about this. Just remind me how I'm going to do it. How am I going to do it? Um, in fact, I might go for point one. I can't help. Sorry about this. <laughs> I'm just remembering how I did it. It's just proving to you if you if you are new to the gizmo like this, it's, it, it was a completely different world, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. In terms of your jewellery and, and creating sort of lovely little characters like this. And obviously, we've got Sophie who's watching at home today. Um, so now I'm going really to brings involves everybody. Thank you, Ruth, my darling. But I'm going to form a little spiral at the end of the tail end of the butterfly. So it's a while since I've made one of these. So just remembering in my mind what I was going to do. Um, so I've made a tail end little spiral and that's going to help anchor the bead in place and that's using flat nose pliers and I like to hammer and any of you have got the hammer and anvil from JM when you get the chance when it comes into stock you make sure you get an absolutely wonderful but the anvil I can't couldn't get cheaper anywhere else and the hammer is excellent balance and quality so when it comes back into stock I think the hammer might still be in stock I'm, I'm, I'm um, not sure we'll check but um, I'm not sure hammer and that work hardens the wire what happens is the wire um, with just a few taps, that's all you need, and it also gives a beautiful flattened effect. Mm -hmm. You can see that the beautiful flattened effect on the on the wire. What happens is that the wire contains large crystals um, when it's first uh, when it's sent to you. It's soft. The large crystals uh, slide easily over each other, and um, when you hammer it, you break the crystals down into smaller crystals, and they um, stick more together and, and become okay, work hardened. Okay, I didn't know that. Um, so, for my little tail end, I'm just Aww. sticking that little tail onto the bottom. Sorry about that, forgetting sticking what I'm doing. Sticking tail onto the bottom. Tail, and then <laughs> I might just snip a bit of that off. So I'm going to think, is that too long? Yeah, I'm going to get rid of it, so I'm sorry everybody. So is your little butterfly on one of the... Is this butterfly on one of the no, DVDs or not? not? Uh -huh. No, it's not. So it's an extra, extra one. <laughs> so it's a bonus butterfly then. Threading, I've got this, I've put a teardrop bead, you can put a round bead, any bead you like, but it's from the um, purple pack and the teardrop forms mm -hmm. a quite a nice little tail. Again, I oh. might get rid of, I think I've got too long a bit at the end, forgive me, I'm going to cut it down. So I is it easy to correct your mistakes as you're sort of going along? Yes, I mean you're just, I'm just, sort of, okay it doesn't look right, 
I'll change that. Um, it happens all the time through the process. Sometimes mm. that you, you started off making something, it comes out and evolves into something totally mm. different. So I've got the body uh, on like that, and I just want to put the headpiece on again. I'm being really stupid today. I'm not actually trimming down, trimming things down properly. Using the cutters. It's the whole it's bonus only of I was working using with a wire teardrop anyway, bead isn't because it? a teardrop bead normally it takes a little bit longer, um, elongates, elongates the body a bit more, mm -hmm. and so normally I use a round bead. Now I've crushed them up. So, got the body. I'm going to put two beads on for the head. You could put one bead on for the head. It doesn't really matter, but I just wanted to make a bit of detail. That's if it fits the one mil. It doesn't fit the one mil wire through, so I'll just go straight for that. So we've got the head on. Now, at this point, you can decide to whether to, to make a bale, to hang it on as a pendant, right. um, or just make <laughs> antennae. And because I've used the one mil wire through, I'm going to just use my round, low, where, round nose pliers. And this is some of the technique I use on the um, dragonfly antennae, which you could show Ruth, darling, because I'm not sure whether I have time to show that. We'll see how we do, because okay. we're doing the ring wings later on, aren't we? Mm -hmm. So we're just going to show the first pass of the process of wiring. So I've just made a simple loop at the top of that dragonfly, oh. like so. Using the flat nose pliers, I'm just going to twirl around and just fix that in place. I'm also going to Then that you could use that as a little pendant um, bale if you like straight away. But I'm just going to just snip that off. So there's the antennae of the <coughs> excuse me of the little dragonfly. And what you can do is you take another length of wire. This is a slightly more advanced technique, and you don't have to include this in your step if you feel they're not ready to do it. Mm -hmm. But um, taking a V of wire, and it can be an off cut. You know, you've got plenty of off cuts and scraps, and Cut both antennae ends to the same length. Now, I know we've got a couple of texts that are coming in, and we'll answer them. Don't worry. What did we? What's that one? We've had one about a woo. Um, yeah, sorry, <laughs> about a knitting needle, was it? Ah, oh, yes. What to if you want to make on? make a longer length coil? Can you use a knitting needle? You can, but you're going to have a, um, a slight problem in you can coiling it uh, through, fitting it through the hole in the mandrel, um, depends on what size. Right. I've used um, um, coat hangers, brass coat oh hangers yes, from, that, a, uh, from a dry cleaning store, cut them right. down, hammer them so you work hard on them, you know, with a hammer, mm -hmm. and then they work really well and you get really perfect lengths. With this, you haven't really got a handle grip to actually hand to grip it. It's great uh, for making jump rings, so okay. if you're not making a, a huge That's amount, you can make jump rings on the right. on knitting needles. There we go. And they've also got their numbers on, so you know um, how many millimetres and what Perfect. size jump rings to make. So, but um, so knitting needle or, or coat hanger, a coat hanger is a good so, idea. So I've got my V of the wire, and I'm just going to make the little curly whirly antennae. <laughs> so using the round nose pliers at the mid to the bottom section, I'm going to make quite large loops. Lost something else come on. Doesn't matter. And then I'm just using the flat nose pliers, just bringing those little um, antennae down into into making them about, about equal. Mm -hmm. And this you oh. can then wire on. Fabulous. To the top. And I used 0.4 or 0.6 wire. And I've got 0.6 wire here today. 0.4 is excellent because it's lovely and flexible mm -hmm. and um, you know beautiful for that. Now this is the fiddly bit and this might not transmit incredibly well. I'll do a little bit of it and then if you all get the idea you can you can carry on at home. So this is one way of getting used to attaching pieces of wire to uh, other pieces of wire you know because you'll you'll be able to use this technique in developing a s further with other pieces. Right. You know this is an, quite an advanced technique I suppose. Um, and the, the fiddly bit is just getting it attached first of all. Mm. So wrapping, holding it close, wrapping both pieces together, and starting really near the base. It doesn't matter if this slips to start off with it's gonna, okay. And then pull tight. I, that's why I do slightly prefer using the point 0.4. Yeah. And I'm just wiring this on. 
Now, if you want to, if your bead is big enough and, you're, and you can put two 0.6 core wires through your bead, but not all the bead holes can do this, so this is why I'm just going to show you this technique so that you know there is an alternative. Um, you can wire another piece of wire on. So again, wrapping round, and take care where you place that wire. Pull it tight as you go. This is slipping around because I'm hot, and the wire is very hot in the studio, so please forgive me. I'm going to just anchor, because I'm at the base, I'm just going to wrap this base bit around to make my life a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. I'm going to wrap the base bit around the base of the V. So I'm going to push this down with my fingernails. I'm going to cheat a little bit and just wrap this around mm. here, and then I've got a, an easier life. And really what I want is a neat, can you see I've pushed that yeah. down now? I'm only going to do one side, but you can get, you just do this, mm -hmm. basically the same on the other side. Pull, you can use your flat nose pliers to, to pull. I'm nearly at the point where the, the antennae pull away from the, the loop at the top. Again, use your flat nose pliers just to pull that tight. 0.4 wires, probably lovely to use for beginners. Wrap around and down, can you see? How I'm wrapping, just a fix and a sort of figure of eight yeah. around that top, and you'll be doing the other side, and you'll find it's very, very secure. Right. And then, then I'll just continue on to to the to top of the bale. So you're actually going to wrap all the way around the top of the bale. He's really taking shape as well, isn't he? You can see, you can see, and also this will get you used to using wire wrapping mm -hmm. and attachments of wire as part of your pieces. Um, and again, put using the other end of the wire, I'm going to start wrapping up the other side. And, and basically exactly the same as the other side. You can see how now, with that pulling of the wire, I'm starting to form that V shape of the antennae. And that is really strong. That won't go anywhere. No. You can, uh, you can even if you wanted to, attach chain to the each either side of it. Okay. See? Uh, and. Uh, you see, he, he start, his body's starting to shape. Mm -hmm. and we'll do the wings in the later in the next bit. Yes. Um, but, but at least people know how to you know how to sort of start make the main body of the of the of the butterfly, of the butterfly. and then move on to Fabulous. the um, the wings later on. Wonderful. And you can wow. wire um, a brooch pin to the back. Yeah. Or, um, or a chain I'm going or to use I'm going to actually use it as a focal point of a necklace. Okay. And again, the figure of eight at the top, and continue around the snip and snip Fantastic. and tuck. Lovely. Okay. Well, there we go. That's part one. Part one of the butterfly. We're going to come back and we're going to make him fly, because uh, we need because we need some wings really for him, don't we? Um, and don't forget to do to please 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 text in. Let us know. We need a little name for the fish. A little name. If we had a couple of names for the fish, Goldie and Gizmo. <laughs> good, 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 good start. Very much indeed. Here's a lovely looking fish, isn't he? So keep those coming in. Send us a text. Obviously, we decided to name the dragonfly Sophie because she's off poorly sticks today. So thank you very much, Rachel. No problem Fabulous. at all, Ruth. Love it. There we go. And we should come back a little bit later on and we shall uh, have a look at some wings. Uh, but we are moving on because I've got some more gorgeous pieces over here. Um, we haven't got any Wall of Fame entries. They're coming up. Don't worry about that. But I wanted to show this chair gets heavier. I'm sure it does. Or I'm just getting weaker. Uh, we are going to send, uh, share with you now some stuff, probably more, more likely. Uh, we're going to send, uh, share with you now some strand packs, all under £10. All under £10. We like the sound of that. Woohoo! Uh, Woohoo! Uh, but where do we start? Because I've got. Yes, which is. Oh, it's this one, is it? Yes. Purple. Oh, I like. I love Botswana agate. I could just work with all day. And we've got a bit of purple jade as well. Lovely sort of deep amethyst colour tones. It all comes to you in your little organza bag, which obviously we, we can't get to. We can't get enough of those. But have a look at these. So you've got two strands of the purple jade, and we've got that lovely Botswana agate. Again, you don't have to use these all together, but you can see the little tones of purple that are matching, that are coming out from the Botswana agate. Those sort of silvery purples that you can see. Uh, 640 carats, 640 carats of Botswana agate and purple jade. So that is a lovely, lovely collection of gemstones, isn't it? And you can see that lovely high polish, beautiful high polish of the purple Chinese jade. Just, just drinking the colours. Aren't they gorgeous?
So you've got 640 carats here. Botswana Agate, you've got those lovely puffy coins. And you can see all the different shapes, the different patterns that you're getting within there. Lovely sort of bands, you've got clarity, you've got some lovely flashes of orange in here as well. But the purple, the purple is the, agate, uh, the, uh, the Chinese jade, and you've got the two different sizes in there as well. Uh, Deanna will confirm, but I think approximately, uh, have you got the eight to 10 or have you got the six to eight? Well, we'll double check that for you. But 640, I would go eight, 10, but I don't know. We'll find out. I mean, 100, 644, 655, of course, on the telephone lines. At least give yourself the opportunity to have a little bit of a look at these. And they're going under £10. So every single piece, if you've got three strands, obviously, you're going to be looking at approximately £3.33 a strand. Does that, that sounds so wrong, doesn't it? That sounds so wrong. But it's going to be so right. It's going to be so, so right for your purple Chinese agate. And it's got that depth of colour that I imagine to see from an incredible, incredible sort of chocolate wrapper purple. Yep, they were 8 and 10 and then you've got 14 millimetres for the Botswana agate. Here's your price, under 10, 9.99, absolutely fantastic. But it's eight, and it's eight pounds ninety-five. I always say ninety-nine, eight ninety-five. Definitely try this out. Definitely try this out. Three-strand pack, your purple Chinese jade and Botswana agate. We need to do all of these, Diana. These, Diana, 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 Piana, Piana. Eight pounds ninety-five. I don't know why I started to sing that. Um, <laughs> just getting a bit overexcited. Um, totally right. Next up, we should do. Can I just grab any or? Pink, we're gonna go pink. I love these, they look great with the black. <gasps> look at this, so seductive, really beautiful. If you want to make some gorgeous evening jewelry, I think these are spectacular. Doesn't that look amazing? They are absolutely adorable, aren't they? Look at the quality, look at the quality that you're getting. You've got that beautiful jet black, you've got that lovely shell pearl and you've got that incredible onyx 185 carats of onyx you've got these beautiful sizable uh, shell pearls and then you've got the pearl in there as well great colors now the pearls aren't perfectly spherical you've got different sort of uh, shapes happening there but you can see just how wonderful all of those are very very pretty you've got this lovely fuchsia gorgeous flash of fuchsia this beautiful sort of bubble gum pink that we can see they all look i love that luster the amount of luster that you're getting from the onyx is spectacular isn't it 185 can it car can it's hmm. carrots 185 carats of black onyx you've got this beautiful shell pearl in the center are they about 14 they're gonna be they're gonna be more than that aren't they So you've got 18 mil, 18 mil, then you've got these lovely black rondelles of the onyx. They're eight by four millimeters. And finally your pearls, which are nine by seven. So they're not perfectly spherical, but they look absolutely wonderful. Great combination together. Even if I'm just to give those a bit of a gentle twist while you're there, look at how those colors absolutely work together beautifully. So you've got three strands. Three strands, of course, again, under 10 pounds, under 10 pounds. So three pounds 33 at most. That's what we've got to be thinking at. Three pounds 33 at most. And let's do it again, getting this right down. Eight pounds 95, again, phenomenal opportunities this morning here. If you are watching the repeat show later on, give these a go. We have some great quantities for you this morning. Definitely give this a go. And actually, if you do want to watch one of the repeat shows, definitely record it. Definitely record it so you can watch all of Rachel's um, um, ideas and obviously that, that beautiful creation of the, uh, the butterfly. Make sure you record it if you haven't done it already and you're thinking now, I should have got that on record. Make sure you watch one of the repeat shows. £8.95. And I've got, I have got breaking news to share with you today. Breaking news. The summer ball. I know loads of you have been asking about it. I am hoping I will update you when the five o'clock show starts today. We will update you because details are just about to be released. Who, who's with you tonight? Is it Carol or Jenny? I don't know who's with you at five o'clock tonight. Is it Jenny? When the five o'clock show starts, it may start with the advert with booking details for the summer ball. So five o'clock, you have to watch. It will all go out across the board. You'll get your emails, website, everything will happen at the same time. Book quickly. But very excited, very excited. So that's what I'm doing this afternoon, making sure it's all ready to go. So just thought I'd uh, remind you there, bring you up to speed, because I know a lot of people have been asking. I've been talking about it a lot on Facebook. 
And now look at this. This is fantastic. It's just an excuse to get a, a new dress, isn't it, as well? An excuse to get a new dress and we can all wear our jewellery. Lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> Lose weight. Oh, no. And then you can make up for it on the night. You can eat as much as you want. Right. <laughs> Have a look. Have a look at these. These are fab. We've got Jasper here. Ooh, oh, Botswana agate. It's mahogany obsidian. Goodness me. I don't know if, I was ever, if I've ever presented mahogany obsidian. They're gorgeous. We've got 12 millimetre squares. Then you've got the lovely drops as well. Beautiful sort of pear drops again. They're 14 by 10 millimetres. And then running through the centre, you've got six millimetre rounds of Botswana agate. So approximately just, just shy of 500 carats across the three strands there. But they work really well. I love the, de I love the pattern and the detail that you're getting on that mahogany obsidian. They are really striking. You've got some real sort of jet black uh, gemstones. You've got some gorgeous colours in there as well. But a three strand pack, it's going under £10. Unmissable, isn't it? Unmissable for those. £9.95, less than £3.33 a strand. Brilliant. Call us on 0800 644 655. Hit option one, stand those telephone lines and give it a go. A pack of three here. Very beautiful. Now, there is a bit of a queue on the telephone lines. There's a bit of a queue. So please do stay there. Obviously, when we're bringing to you three strand packs like this for under £10, of course, it's going to be busy. Of course, these are going to cause a massive reaction. Uh, we're talking about two minutes approximately on the telephone lines. I'm happy to wait two minutes if I know I'm not paying for my phone call particularly. And on the web, all the W's dot jewelrymaker.com. Take those home. They are absolutely terrific. Well done. Next up, should we go for a bit of green? Should we have a bit of greenery? Green Chinese jade with pyrite. Pyrite perfection and Chinese jade. Have a look at how they work together. Very nice combination as well here. Of course, got another new kit coming up for you. Not very far away at all. Got some great deals on the kits today. Aren't they lovely? Aren't they lovely? I love that green. Works really, really well, doesn't it? If I wrap those, keep that in the center. Just want you to see that how complimentary that gorgeous Chinese jade is to the pyrite. And of course, you've got this amazing, amazing collection of colors that you can see. Well caught, Jack. Well caught. Fantastic, just bringing me, oh, oh, not so well caught. Uh, I spoke too soon. <laughs> You're back. You did very well, actually. You did very well just to drop a little bit of metal on the floor, that's fine. Uh, 800 6 double 4, 6 and double 5. Uh, we've, again, we've got these lovely sort of discs, these lovely sort of um, discs of pirate, and then you've got the puffy ovals there as well. What would you call, they're not discs, are they? They're, um, <sighs> saucers. There we go. I was thinking of a disc as in a UFO type thing. Saucer. Puffy saucer. There we go. Pyrite green agate. They could be like plain rondelles, I suppose. I think they're more saucer-like. We'll go a bit more saucer, I think. A bit saucy. Under £10. Let's have a saucy price. £9.95. Three strands, 38. Can we have a saucy price? 10 to 11 in the morning. Yeah, of course we can. Under £10. £9.95 again here. I get lots of you on the telephone line. Six of you there now coming in. Congratulations. Of course, they do come to you in your little organza gift bag as well, which is very, very cute. And of course, on the web, all the w's.jewelrymaker.com. We're moving on quickly because these are going like hot potatoes. So we're just trying to bring you as much as we can. Next, is there anyone you want to do or should I just... Okay, okay, let's have some gorgeous pearls here, shall we? These are very nice colours. You've got some rich sort of cranberry rustic reds, some fabulous sort of goldy copper tones. And then you've got that lovely shot of white that's really going to work absolutely beautifully with a lot of different pieces. You might not choose to sort of work with those together. Personally, I wouldn't naturally think of teaming the white up in there. I'd keep the two sort of colours of the pearls separate, but choice is yours. And who cares when they're going under £10? When they're going under £10, this is going to be absolutely terrific anyway. So you've got a beautiful, beautiful combination. Doesn't that look fantastic? Look at the colours. Got this gorgeous chocolate-rich copper bronze. Then you've got that lovely cranberry tone that's coming through. And then the bright, bright white. So you've got three strands, including your shell. Are they shell pearls again? I thought they were pearls. Well, even beautiful. So you've got that perfectly sort of spherical nature there with your white Chinese jade. Pack of three. All 38 centimetre strands on 800, 644, 655. Lovely colours, definitely colours that I can see you using really, really easily here. On the telephone lines, 0800, 644, 655. If you're 
just thinking about dialing in or you are sort of holding in a queue, please do bear with us this morning. It's a little bit busy out there on the telephone lines, but it's not a surprise. We're in an under £10 selection. So you know every single strand, those colours are gorgeous. Every single, well, they're not even £3.33 a strand for this one. £7.95. And you've got, that, that's about £2, £2, pounds, two pounds, sixty-six. <laughs> Just work that out in my head. Carol Vorderman, eat your heart out. No, thank you for that. £7.95. No, I didn't do that in my head. I no, it's my calculator in the gallery. Oh, 800, 6, double 4, 6, double 5. £7.95 absolutely terrific isn't it you can see just how gorgeous they look there sorry jack was just asking me if i wanted a cup of tea and i'm trying to tell him i've got my flask i've got my flask. i just need to take the lid off that's the only thing i tried to have a sip earlier on and went can't get the lid off the flask seven pounds 95 i came prepared today always a brownie you see always a sprite i was a sixer <gasps> oh 800 six triple four were you a brownie rachel a brownie what were never you? Never a six, I was always a seconder. Seconder. Yeah. Never got to six, sir. Well, you say. We, what were you, a sprite, an imp? Can you remember? I was an imp. You were an imp. Yeah, I was that the little to, I yellow? I wanted to be a pixie. Pixie. I never got to be a pixie, oh. I was an imp. <laughs> Imps were cool. Funny enough. I, like, I can't remember anymore. Imps, pixies, sprites. Um, gnomes. No, we're no, they, <laughs> we're not gnomes. Sure I'm not gnomes. sure there were gnomes. <laughs> but I like the idea. I didn't I didn't last very long at guides, though, I have to say. Only lasted a week or two. But um Right, have a look at this. Final final one, actually. We've got through those very quickly. Final three. Were you a, were you a brownie, Claire? Aww. What were you? I don't know. You can't remember? I can't remember. Oh, no. Chloe got kicked out of brownies. <laughs> There's a surprise. There's a surprise. All you've got to work for is lolly sticks. I mean, you know, the incentive. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a lot you can make with lolly stick. Uh, so, right, why, why, were you, uh, why were you thrown out, Chloe? Oh, that's really sad. Oh, Chloe, Chloe couldn't get the uniform right, so they wouldn't let her in. They wouldn't let after the third time. Said, You've got to have the uniform, and Chloe, Chloe couldn't get the uniform. I feel really bad now. And then things like that properly, you've got told off. Exactly. Yeah. That's right My arm was full. I was such a <laughs> such a little swat. I loved brownies. My arm was completely full of badges, and I had to have like a couple that, that, that I couldn't fit on. I loved it. I loved it. Oh, well, you went to Sunday school instead, so it's not all bad. It's not all bad. Right. Next three strand. Look at those. They are absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? You you had to put twenty p in the owl, didn't you, at the end? Twenty p in the owl. <gasps> <laughs> Jewelry Maker Boutique, pack of three. You've got zebra jasper and black jasper. Again, puffy ovals, you've got the rounds. And you've got these lovely sort of marquee shapes, actually. Those elongated marquee shapes are very, very nice. All about pattern here, isn't it? All about the different patterns that you're getting, hence the name of the gemstones here. You've got the zebra, because you've got that lovely sort of zebra feel, that zebra print uh, on the gemstones. And I love these rounds. I think they're so cute with the black, ja uh, black jasper, the black zebra jasper. Literally, they look like they've been scribbled all over. They have though, by, by mother nature a little bit more. Get involved, you've got a three strand pack here going under 10 pounds. We've got another new jewelry kit to share with you. We've got your entries of the Wall of Fame, more gizmo with Rachel, we've got loads. I'm only nearly halfway through the show. Got a lot to get on with still. 0800 644 655. Going under £10, 995. No, seven. Seven pounds and ninety-five. Again, these look fabulous. If I just twist these together, you can see how complimentary they are. All of the different patterns that you're seeing. There we are. Aren't they wonderful? 795 on the telephone lines, 0800 644 655 and on the web or the w's.jewelrymaker.com. So do stay there because when we come back, I'm going to have a quick breather so I can open my flask. And when we come back, we're going to bring to you another brand new kit, which is called Field of Gold. It's with silver. See you in a minute. <laughs> Add to your collection with our Macrame and Notting DVD, which is full of hints and tips and step-by-step -step instructions for all levels. Join guest designers Laura Liggy and Debbie Bulford as they take you through how to create half-hitch knots, square knots and many more. To get your hands on a copy, phone our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. My thoughts on jewellery maker, I find that if you're an experienced jewellery maker, 
or new to the hobby, Jewelry Maker has everything for you, right from the basic findings up to the more expensive and a little bit more um, intricate um, feature beads, pendants that you can bead. I think it's a really, really lovely site. As a teacher myself, I have bought all of the basic kits for my students. You can't get them cheaper anywhere. Very comprehensive, very nicely made, um, quality goods. I really can't say much more about Jewelry Maker. It's a really good site to visit. There are two easy ways to purchase from Jewelry Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview or Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click the sign up button. Once you have filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the On Air Now button on the homepage where you'll be able to see all the products that have been in today's show. You can also use our quick search tool and narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, simply click on the Buy Now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget that you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one PNP. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Add to your collection with our Chainmail DVD, which is full of hints and tips and step-by-step -step instructions for all levels. Join guest designer Debbie Bolford and learn some fascinating techniques including Byzantine, box weave and many more. To get your hands on a copy, phone our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Oh, that cake's amazing. <clears throat> oh, what is it again? Coffee and walnut. I don't think I've ever eaten cake so quickly in my entire life. I don't think I've eaten cake that quickly when I was five. That was a mate, Rachel. I love you. Rachel's bought us coffee cake, coffee cake, walnut cake, and carrot cake, chocolate cake. Sorry. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, that's <laughs> really. Oh, suddenly, you, you get to that moment, don't you, mid-morning, and go. Mm. I think, oh, I'm really hungry. I, I need ate, something. I ate breakfast at 4:30 this morning. You must so, be starving. You um, need a slice of cake for Rachel, please. <laughs> slice, and um, I think that can still cut into a few more, so I can have another one later. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yes. Yum later. yum. Right. Okay. <laughs> cake done. It's time for this. This is, you know, it, it, it's 11 o'clock. Cup of tea. Mm. A cup of tea and a slice of cake for Aunt Sally. Got to do it. Right. Field of Gold. Let's bring to you the jewellery kit now, as this is what it's about. It's about gemstones, not about me eating cake. Oh, but these are... Be but cake and gemstones, does it get any better than that, quite frankly? For me, they go together. They go together like, like Ant and Deck. They were meant to be together, weren't they? Field of Gold, where you've got your coffee colours in here. I can, I can link it in. I can link it and can work it. You've got the coffee colours. You've got the walnut tones in there. I was, I was merely doing research. 160 carats of black onyx. 60 carats of black agate. You've got the connectors. So that's your extra part of this set. So you've got the three pieces and they are lovely. I really like those. And then you've got your agate plain rounds, which is 285 carats, 10 millimetres and 110 carats of Botswana agate faceted round. So I'll show you the connectors there as well. Remember, you've got three, three of those of the connectors, just making sure I haven't got cake on my fingers still. Uh, so that is, and I do love this. I do think that, so you've got three of those and they can make such a difference to your design. They look like gemstone belt buckles, don't they? Or pick little picture frames. Picture frames. Um, yep. You know, are, they are they drilled on? They're not, no, are they? They're not. No. So you can. I'll show you lots of different ways of. Fabulous. Because you, know, you can wrap your wire around them and lots of different funky ways of doing that. So that is your gemstone part. That is only a small part. We've also got a big amount of solid sterling silver here. 43 pieces. Now we don't normally see 43 pieces doing in a lot of the kits. So you've got 43 pieces of sterling silver. Now, I'm going to break this down. So you've got 10 
of your solid sterling silver head pins, which are 39 millimeters. I, I'm just gonna have to read all of this for you. You've got 10 of your silver eye pins. So you can see that, yep, that's right. You've got your eye pins on the left-hand side. So you've got um, 40 millimeter eye pin, pins. You've got 10 silver crimp beads, they're two millimeters two pairs of solid sterling silver shepherd hooks. Then you've got three open jump rings, which are five mil. You've got three open jump rings, which are eight mil. And three of your solid sterling silver split rings, which are six mil. So look at all of that. That's 43 pieces. 43 pieces of sterling silver. They are, I mean, that's a good amount, isn't it? Just to have all of that. And it's different as well. It's a slightly different lineup because you've got the, uh, the eye pins in there as well. Plus, new kit, look at this. You've got your monofilament wire. You've got your beading thread and you've got your elastic there as well. So all of those, it's 150 meters. It's a lot, isn't it? 150 meters of monofilament wire, six plus meters of jewelry elastic. And of course you've got your beading thread there. And you've got your organza gift bags. One small, which I've got here and you've got one large. That, that's how we deliver your um, sterling silver um, findings within the organza bag. You can see that if you do sell your jewelry, of course, handmade gemstone jewelry. So two of your organic, um, organic, organza gift bags. So this is your field of gold jewelry kit. It is a new kit in today. I think this is gonna be a little bit popular actually. I think the chance to have all of that silver, 43 pieces of silver is beautiful. You can see the difference here as well. Your black onyx is beautifully, beautifully faceted. And then you've got that gorgeous, gorgeous round, bright, beautiful round. And of course you've got the smaller faceted gemstones there as well. Big, big interlinking pieces absolutely wonderful we're going to show you how to work with all of this in the field of gold kit but you need a price don't you for all of this remembering this is a slightly bigger kit than i normally expect you normally perhaps get your three beads you don't necessarily get the interlinking gemstones and of course more silver 43 pieces of silver much much more but at a lovely low price. That's an introductory price for today, $34.99. Today we are launching this at $34.99. It's your deal, it's your opportunity, and you can see just how wonderful, how gorgeous they all look together. I would definitely, definitely have to give this a go. I love the mix of the colors you're getting from all of the gemstones there as well. And just to remind you, just to remind you of the gemstones that you're getting there again, you've got that beautiful faceted deep jet black onyx they're 10 by 8 millimeters 160 carats that's a lot then you've got these gorgeous big rounds of agate 10 millimeter rounds 285 carats and then you've got these wonderful six mil agate Botswana agate 110 carats not forgetting your three big gemstone connectors black agate that's 60 carats there three beautiful pieces and of course 50 meters of beading thread six plus meters of elastic or 80 meters of beg your pardon i said 100 scrap that you've got 80 meters of mono filament wire that's 0 0.25 and then of course you've got your black and pink organza gift bags very very nice indeed but should we go and see? Should we go and see what we can do? What we can collective we? Do you like that? What we can do, what we've done here. Rachel, what Rachel's created. I'm trying to take some credit, but there's no point. Uh, I'm going to bring my tea with me, Rachel, if that's you okay. Can. Or could you bring one of the, the smaller strands of the, the smallest strand? I can indeed. Yeah, Not absolutely. a problem. Please, thank bring you. Bring that with me. So this is the Botswana agate. Now, there we go. I was very naughty and used black wire um, <laughs> uh, with the kit right. um, to help give you that picture <gasps> frame of of, um, of clustering the gemstones in these beautiful little um, black belt that buckles. That is lovely. So I've made the bracelet. I'm going to show you how to make the bracelet if I can. Oh, We've yes, got please. time today to, to do that. Um, now um, you can actually also use these agates if I just put it on here. Mm -hmm. Um, because they've got no drill hole, you've got, some, you've got to find some way of attaching. Yeah. And you can just literally thread, um, if you pop back to my camera, I don't know you can see, you can just literally th um, thread monofilament round through, make a loop. Okay. It will catch naturally in the diagonal, and you can loop on it to the other end with either a pendant, you can put two pendants um, pieces mm -hmm. either side. Um, and that will form naturally a drop if you put dr a drop of other gemstones at the bottom. So this, I didn't actually do that, right. but that's another way of just using the kit, not using wire, to mm. actually form those loops around those agates. If you're stuck and you're not a wire worker, that's, that's one gorgeous. way you can do. You just pr feed the, the, the monofilament or beading wire back through your strand just to make your loop. 
and that will attach your, your agates quite nicely. It's fabulous, okay, and you've got so a really, really high end look there. And that's a, um, a lovely bracelet. I'm mm. going to show you how to make that. If, uh, first of all, I can start to make the clustering of the picture frame. Please do. And yep. I've got a cluster of beads I'm going to use um, and a long length of 0.6 millimetre wine. You can no use 0.8 if you like as well. So I just want to move this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. And first of all, I'm going to take the black agate and just do a few wraps um, of the 0.6 around, around the picture frame. And this should just start to attach it. I might need to move you forward a tiny bit mm -hmm. again. I think we've wiggled. Yeah, that's it. That's it, thank you. So I'm just doing a few wraps around and that will start to attach. Mm -hmm. And I'm now going to put another bead on. I'm going to leave this for as a little bit of a, a length to do something <coughs> with in a minute. Okay. And if you do want the black wire, by the way, or any of the wire, have a look on the website. You can have a look at that and you can get any of the wire from the website. Likewise, if you call the customer service centre, they'll be able to guide you through and let you know the prices of the wire as well, because obviously that doesn't come with the kit. So you form that and just, um, if you just pull it tight, that will just start to hold it against the, the uh, one edge of the the agate. I'm going to thread on a gemstone. You just do one at a time, threading it across, and you start to fill this little picture frame up um, with wire. Looping it round through, holding the bead tight, pulling and pulling. You just do a few wraps each time, getting Ruth each time with the wire. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. <laughs> um, and maybe sort of one or two or three loops round each time will help to hold the wire in place and that bead will slip around but you're going to use the other beads to sort of um, anchor it in, in place. So I'm ready to do the next, put the next bead on. You're going to use about five little ones, one long um, faceted oval and one big one to f and it, that, those will actually fill the space quite nicely. Yep. So I'm going to put an a long faceted drop on, next one, and it's a randomly, I'll go for the, another part of the, because you can make this quite random, hmm. I and mean then you can use beading wire, if, if, if we look at the other one, you can see this, yes, so you've used the beading wire on this one, haven't you? Yes, yeah, so you can actually thread the beading wire through either side, and to hold the gemstones in, just it's just a lot, another way of doing it, so bring it back, can you see, round, another ready for the next loop across so we'll go for um, you can see how they're starting to cluster in the middle of this agate quite nicely so another one and the, the Botswana agate is so beautifully striped they are mm. absolutely gorgeous this is going to fill up that little space bringing the wire across to another angle. You want as many loops as possible, yep. basically across that picture frame to hold it in in space. Three loops round. It becomes easier as you have less of a length of wire to actually pass through. Um, I'm going to go for another of these because it's going to be a bit different to the other one. It's nice because you can use, use lots of, with these. You've got lots of different any, looks, yes. sizes, and textures. Any and gemstones in your stash that you can use to to mm. to fill up the space but quite honestly these go so well the colours of this one go so well together um, you've got some beautiful muted greys um, and I've done that with the necklace I've actually taken the colour tone up through the necklace again okay again three wraps each time I'm going to use another smaller bead because I need to fill up this corner so I'm going to push that across mm -hmm threading the wire along. We're, we're sort of approaching the end of this little buckle, it's not too far to go. You can see it's starting to, you can start to push these wires up. Coming across to this buckle. I'm holding my fingers to hold that bead in place. Okay, got it. You've got to tell me, you've got to tell me if I'm not in shot. And then you bring it back up, because my eyes are so useless. Mm -hmm. As I'm getting into my 40s, um, <laughs> late 40s actually, which is sad, uh, is that uh, <laughs> I can't see so well. It's hard, oh, and also you're working black on black, aren't oh. you? But can you see now we're starting to build up this picture? Mm. I'm going to put one more stone maybe 
on this side. Bring that through. I'm going to bring that through some of the wire just to help hold it in, in place. There we go. That's it. That round. And I'm just going to put one more across and then we're done with the buckle part of it. And we've filled the cluster up. Um, there, that'll do. I think mm -hmm. if I bring that down through there, we're going to f just finish off now. So, the next part of it is to make the band. And if I just wrap round, I'm just, what I normally did with the, with the one I made before was just put two little spirals and it helps finish off the wire and also add detail. So I've actually ended up with one piece of wire at the bottom, one piece of wire at the top. I'm just going to snip that so it's, so it's equal yep. and just make a little spiral. So we've just made our belt buckle and you can use that as part of your necklace um, as, a, as a pendant feature. Absolutely. Um, or in this case as a, I'm slightly doing this very badly, a little spiral. And thank you very much for your text, by the way. They are coming in still. I've had a, a text. I don't know who it was Rain from. Rainy's pliers in. Sorry to... Who was that? Sorry? Rainy. Rainy's pliers, just to make this spiral. We'll read them out in a moment. It's okay. And then flat nose pliers to bring it down. And then just press it down. If your beads will take 0.8 wire, go for that. But um, 0.6 is good enough for this because it'll just add... Um, just put that in. I can just sit in there. Right, uh, what I need to do is make sure there's a gap to actually fit um, fit my sides through for the bracelet. Yeah, that's, a, that's nice. I've got a gap either side so I can fit the bracelet in that way. I found that fitting it, you could actually try and fit it in through that corner if you if you fixed it hard enough, but I'm just mm -hmm. going to fix it like a, a bracelet buckle. Right. Okay. So I've got um, a gizmo coil with a on the, made on the large mandrel made with one millimetre black wire. And I've also got a long length of plaited 0.6 wire. I'm just going to make the, um, the band. Can you see the 0.6 wire here? And it's quite a long length. It's probably approaching 80 centimetres, do you reckon? About Possibly, about yeah. You may not need it all, but it's better to have too much than not enough. Mm -hmm. So sp just spend that time doing that. You've got some ends, and oh yes, when you plait, you just put a bit of masking tape around the end just to protect the ends. Okay, so okay, that just holds it. it in the clamp. So I'm not going to use the gizmo um, winder because I've just found it's just as easy to use it um, without. But what I'm going to do is just use that um, handle because it's ever such a good handle for holding. And I've attached those, those spare wires around and I'm going to start to turn that plait around and fix it around. And you can see it makes a beautiful mm -hmm plaited effect on the um, the bracelet base. And it doesn't matter, it's lovely that you can still see the black through it because obviously yes, that's going to marry that's the whole up with yeah, so I just thought oh, we'll get chocolate and black will we'll make um, fit in with all the gemstone colours because there's colours and elements of that all the mm. way through. So I'm just twisting around. This is why I pray I've made enough length of plat. <laughs> um, so that's why you need more than more than less. Yeah, you don't want to be running out at the end, do you? Yeah, I'm pushing up. What's what I've done actually? I've, I've when I did the 0.6, the one millimeter. Um, when I did the one millimeter coil, I actually carried it on. I took it off the mandrel and carried it on to the end of the. So it's a bit longer than you normally would do. Um, just because I want because the buckle, I wanted to get a race at length that would fit that buckle. Um, you could put an extra bead either end if you hadn't didn't have quite a long enough coil, you know, if you found you run out. And if you have just tuned in, this is what Rachel's creating for us now. Sorry Ruth, this That's is why right. um, if this you can see and now because it's the the wire is now very work hardened, I'm having to really push and really yeah. force it round and if you're using 0.6 at least it's, um, <laughs> it's quite easy to work. You imagine doing this with one millimetre wire. 
So I'm don't fighting forget. to get it to the end, but I'll get there. And don't forget, the Y doesn't come with the jewellery kit. If you want the Y, get in touch with the call centre, have a look on the web, got all the details for all the various different lengths and the, the different millimetres of the The black and the, the antique the bronze wire. is, is on in, in stock, and they're beautiful. The antique bronze I love because you can combine it with so many of the coloured wires. Absolutely. You, know, you combine it with the blues to make chocolates and blues, the purples. Yep. Um, really all these nice combinations. Colours. We're nearly there, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Nearly there. <laughs> and keep sending in your names. Keep sending in your uh, your ideas for the name for the um, for the little fish. Yeah. We've had we've had Jasper. So we've got Jasper. We've had the wire perfecto. But this is the industrial part of of, of jewellery making. You know, it, it's it can be. You know. A, a, quite a business all the wires flying about the place but once you've tied it all, all up it becomes a beautiful piece of jewellery so mm. it's frightening to start off with when you've got this bits of wire flying about I've, um, <laughs> I need a hard hat really don't I <laughs> we're there we look we've got now the um, suit of armour we've now got the shaft of the of the of the, of the bracelet so I'm just going to cut um, this takes a little bit of cutting so it's probably snip one wire at a time this is my hands are all slippery so they're useless I'm going to hide a little bit of that end with um, with some of the wrapping that we're mm -hmm. going to do. It's not cutting at all. I'm sorry about this. These are probably. I guess there's a lot of wire to cut through as well, though, isn't there? Do you mind? So sorry. I've got um, flush cutters. You see. Um, sorry. There we go. But I use those for making jump rings. Um, JM sell flush cutters as well. Mm-hmm. So, taking that off. We're going to assemble. Sorry, I'm just so going to cut your, that. This is your bracelet part of the, the, the bangle part of the bracelet in essence. Cutting so we're going to bring to those it. together with the, with the so central So this is quite part. sort of floppy. Uh, I just need to make sure that it's strong and holds on to the wire. So I always put it, when you've made it on um, a large mandrel, like I made it on, mm -hmm. I usually put another smaller coil inside just to help hold the wire and it doesn't matter it could be a, a, a piece of coil that you've made a mess of that you've actually um, made a few marks on and, and you think well I can't use that but you can actually use it as a coil wire inside and it just helps stabilize this and stops this splitting apart when you actually bend it round. So using one millimeter wire. Call me having a cup of tea, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so using one a large length I'm going to take about uh, practically a meter <laughs> it's okay, you can have tea, you can have it, it's fine. You have to take these opportunities, don't you? If I'm quiet for a moment, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have a cup of tea. Well, it's so <laughs> hot in here, and um, so a metre length of the one millimetre wire, I'm going to thread through. And we're starting to, this is nearly bringing it together, it's not far off now, to actually assemble this buckle bracelet, we'll call it. As I thread it on the one mil wire, and we're going to use a short length, and it's about... Mm, excuse me. Let me just measure it on the, the board. About 30 um, millimetres long, little 0.6 diameter wire. And I'm going to put that on here. And this is the fun bit where it might not work. <laughs> it's live TV. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to just make sure there's a little hole uh, big enough to thread that. Sorry, I'll probably go that, that way. Thread that through. And if you find that it's not you can always wrap a few more bits of wire around here so you can hold this buckle in place just going to um, thread poke this through this is and I'm going to start assembling the see how it's going to bring it together mm -hmm. okay so it's going to wrap it I'm just going to do one side first of all and then we can do the other side in a minute or if we've run out of time you, you basically you know you know what yep, to do an idea of how to, to make it so attach it making the Fixing that little gizmo coil, I'm going to use. In fact, I do have to fit the other end because I've got to make sure I've got enough tension. Bear with me to actually be able to wrap the coil. I'll just do one side yep. of that. Again, similar thing. Making sure you've got enough tension through. Be careful it doesn't slip down. It wants to bend naturally the other way, actually, doesn't it? <laughs> you see how it's starting to form. Poke the wire through. The little gap because that wire wrapping should have given you a nice little gap. This bit where I want to make sure it goes through. That second little coil goes through, and you've got to this is the bit where you've got to start pulling and pulling and pulling. 
just to make sure all fits. Yeah, look, it's starting to wow. form. It's nearly there. Brilliant. And then wrap the wire around the top or the base of that coil just to secure it. Now, I want to hide all these ragged bits of wire. There's mm -hmm. a lot of wire to hide. So what I'm going to do is take some, a nice long length of black coil of uh, 0.6 wire that I've coiled into a simple coil on the small mandrel and then start to wrap round. Um, in fact, actually, what I might do is just catch everything before I do that, catch the end of that coil. I'd like just to catch it a little bit and then oh, it's a kind of nice firm base. Just adds such a lovely finish, doesn't it? Just being able to do this at the sort of the, the very centre, it just adds so much to well, the you've design. Not, you've not used many stones, you've made mm. a beautiful piece. You've got some, plenty of stones left over for yeah. your future gemstone necklace. And I've again pushing that coil tight to the wire. I'm starting to use that coil just to wrap around. Again, this is an unnatural position for me, I'm so sorry if I, can't, if I can't see what I'm doing. But you can see how I'm wrapping around. Beautiful. And I would normally spend a bit of time just to get that yep. closer and then finish off. And you're doing the same on the other side. It's fabulous. We can see here, this is the one that Rachel made I'm for us. I'm going to redo it. But again, you've not, you've not spent a lot of time in terms of doing no, that, considering what imagine, you're getting. Yes, the time is the splatting of that wire, actually. Um, that's the most time that exactly, you spend. And the end and effect then is just incredible. You can that use the spare wire for other things. Absolutely beautiful. So hopefully that's giving you a little bit in, of inspiration. You can have, have a look at some of the other pieces as well, actually, because we've, mm. that's the one uh, sort of the, the one main brace. <laughs> that's all right, mm. it's the one main brace. We've got a second one there, which um, Rachel's used the wire for. You can see that again, cluster of gemstones in the center. And then all the way around, you've got that sort of woven effect that's going all the way down to your clasp at the back. But she's also made, I love this necklace. And this mm. is what you're talking about. You could either use that as a sort of centerpiece for the bracelet or as a sort of as a central a, the diamond pendant. Um, pendant. So it's on the axis there. Axis all. That's lovely. Um, and like the weight of the gorgeous. little drops it just mm. hel helps it hold into shape. And I love the colours, the greys and browns and blacks. They're so gentle, actually. They're very, I mean, that your little, black, any little black dress. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then, of course, if you have a look, we've also got some earrings. We've got some earrings, last but not least, and they, you can see they're a perfect match with the necklace because you've got that gorgeous drop again in there. Very, very effective. So that's a lovely use of some of the gemstones there from this particular kit. Fields of Gold jewellery kit, 43 pieces of 9 to 5 sterling silver. And, of course, obviously, Rachel's been working with a lot of the wire. If you want any of the wire that we've got in stock, have a look on the website. Ask the call centre as well, and you can add a lot of those in. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Nearly there. Okay. We nearly did it. Yeah. It's fabulous. Thank <laughs> you very much. We nearly did it. I haven't done anything. Uh, uh, but you've been doing a lot. We are going to have a look now at your Wall of Fame entries. <laughs> Jewelry Maker, we get a chance to have a look at your Wall of Fame entries. Today, Tuesday, is uh, the day where you need to start to think about getting in your final entries before four o'clock today. We pick the winner every Wednesday and then it all starts again. So let's have a look at some of your Wall of Fame entries. Do you want to go first, Rachel? Yes, first one is number 471 and it's from um, Karen in Doncaster and she's made it with lapis, red coral Ooh, wheels nice. and 95 sterling silver and she, yes it is worthy of being shown and she's <sighs> lost her mojo and she hopes it's coming back so Aww. good luck Karen and make some more beautiful pieces like that. Well it looks like it has Karen, congratulations, thank you very much. Uh, second, very very diamond jubilee isn't it this? Very regal, very red, white and blue, we've got 469, this is Catherine. Catherine Shaw in Blackburn, thank you very much. Um, in, it, oh, well, she's put actually, I didn't read it. It's inspired, it's Jubilee inspired, made from jade, coral and agate, all from yourselves. I've been making jewellery for just over a year now since my husband discovered you through his channel hopping and now he's not allowed near his precious TV on Sunday mornings. Quite right indeed, Catherine. Thank you for keeping me sane and away from daytime television while I'm jump hunting since being made redundant in February. Could I, um, I could do with winning so I can replenish my stash. Best of luck, Catherine. Best of luck with the job hunting. And well done. At least you're putting your time to something absolutely beautiful. They're gorgeous. Well done. 
And Jackie Lane um, has sent this in. It's modelled by ah. Snowball, her furry friend. <laughs> and he's sulked because she didn't use him last week, so oh. she's put him in the spotlight again. And she's made it from smoky crackle quartz with a centrepiece of fire agate, which is beautiful. And she wants more smoky crackle quartz, please, um, because it's not actually very easily read uh, available, and she loves it. Well done, Jackie. Congratulations. That makes the wall of fame. And the last for now is from Pat. Hello, Pat. Um, I hope you are all fit and well. Well, I think we are. Uh, I recently ordered a graduated, fascinated Amazonite strand to make a necklace for my friend's birthday. I had several of the gemstones left, and so I made this necklace and bracelet using two sizes of beautiful wood jasper rounds from JM. I hope my friend likes her necklace as much as I like this set made with the leftovers. I certainly don't think it looks second best, do you? No, I don't. Keep up the great work. Tips, bargains, fun and quality. Love and hugs from Pat. Congratulations, that is fantastic. If you do want to send in your Wall of Fame entries today, it would need to be by email. You need to send those to us by four o'clock. But if they come in after, don't panic because your entry will go into next week. All of the winners, uh, um, the, the winning entries will be selected on a Wednesday. And if you don't know how to do it, you're thinking, I've got to get involved with this. Have a look at this and it's exactly what to do. The Jury Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jury designer. And each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their Jury Maker account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jurymaker.com or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, Coloured Rocks Limited, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moons Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Good luck and happy jury making. It's worth doing, isn't it? It's worth giving it a go, sending your entries to the Wall of Fame, because we love receiving them as well. Uh, right, brand new. We do, we like getting all the entries, don't we? We like seeing, and it's so nice. We can sometimes get really inspired by what, by what you share with us, by what you send to us. And of course, if you are watching us and if you do like to get live and interactive, uh, if you've got internet access, like our Facebook page, send us in your details and send your designs as well. Can I just quickly say, uh, we did have a text. I won't, I'm got to, I won't read it all out, but I'll, I'll explain. Uh, Lorraine from Wiltshire. Hello, Lorraine. Lorraine said, well, good morning all at Jewelry Maker. I've just come out of hospital and found the best medicine of all. Ruth's on screen, bless you. Just warm friendship float across the, uh, the set. And what a great pick-me-up to have Rachel with unbelievable designs. Thank you so much. That's lovely. And she said that it's, it's a, our fabulous gems deal. Um, Carbon. Fabulous gem deals and laughter, even when it hurts. Yes. She's just come out of hospital, carbon. so I hope you get better. <laughs> the answer to your other, to your other question <laughs> is carbon. Okay, Rachel <laughs> says carbon. Um, I w the only thing I would, yeah, <laughs> peppermint tea. Peppermint tea is the only thing I can say really. I was going carbon to say tablets, to lie yeah. on the floor and go like that, like a flounder. But I don't know what operation <laughs> you've had, so maybe, maybe don't do that. Maybe don't do that. But um, you might be able to no, guess not what too much about sugar it, in the diet at and, home and stuff. A, like a flounder, a fish. <laughs> That's a flounder, isn't it? A fish. What was that, sorry? <laughs> possibly the fish that I made. It's flounder. possibly the fish, it's possibly a flounder. Yes, maybe that's what we call him, flounder. Flounder the fish, inspired by Lorraine, by Lorraine's problem at, uh, <laughs> at home at the moment. I hope you get better soon, Lorraine, and I'm glad that you're enjoying it. Hope you, hope we, I won't, we won't do anything to make you laugh anymore. We won't do anything to make you giggle, giggle if it's hurting. But thank you very much. Thank you very much for your email. It's horrible, I know you, uh, it's terrible when you've had an operation. Mm -hmm. Terrible, I know you do. Oh. Goodness me. Anyway, we are going to breeze along into the next piece. <laughs> 200, <laughs> 250 carats. But I have to say, Lorraine, I loved your text. It really made us giggle. It really made us giggle. Any tips we can give to you, we will always try. But yes, peppermint tea, carbon, and lots of wriggling around is all we can say. Pardon? Not too much sugar in the diet. Not too much sugar in your diet as well, apparently. Oh. Just eat cake, eat I said. Eat, if you've been in hospital, <laughs> eat cake. Right, okay, we are bringing to you brand new, brand new design now. This is 250 carats of purple zebra jasper puffy ovals, 20 by 15 millimetres. Wonderful, wonderful quality and great colours that you can see here. Brand new today. They are lovely, aren't they? They're the different colours that you're getting in here. And you can just see, it's very slight, it's very subtle. 
the uh, the sort of zebra effect. Everybody, Lorraine, you've got everybody giggling in the gallery, can I just say? Everybody's giggling. They loved your text. <laughs> 250 carats here, 20 by 15 millimetres. 0800 655. Very, very beautiful. You can see, I think that's a really, really lovely strand, actually. And it's brand new. Certainly not one I've ever seen or even known about. But that's why I love Jasper. Jasper and Agate uh, and, the, and the Chinese Jade. There's so many different varieties, isn't there? So many different varieties, so many different shapes and colours. Absolutely phenomenal. Don't they look gorgeous? Every single one of these are fabulous. Oh, we've got we've got another text which I like as well. Can we read that as well? Should we, should we get the pricing for this first of all? This is beautiful. We've we've started something talking about brownies. We've started something. <laughs> £4.95 for your purple zebra jasper. I think that's quite gorgeous, actually. Really, really terrific. £4.95, 0800 644 655. And you've got this incredible shot of purple, these beautiful colour tones that you're seeing in there. Absolutely striking. £4.95, 0800 644 655. And you've got an entire strand for such a lovely low price. Again, we've had so many strands in the show this morning that have been under five pounds or under 10. It's been a bit of a bargain-tastic show so far. Uh, if you've missed any of it this morning, you're just tuning in, watch the repeat shows. Obviously, they're looped throughout the day. Uh, get them on record as well. 4 95 for Purple Zebra Jasper. 0800 644 655. If you're on the web, all the w's.jewelrymaker.com. Just add them to your order. With one set of delivery charge to pay, it's a great, great deal, isn't it? Congratulations, every single one of you that's there right now, because this is such a beautiful look fantastic work hold those lines now I shall read out my second text now and this is from Mrs Lee in Kent hello to you and um, Mrs Lee in Kent said I was a sixer at brownies come on I was a six at brownies Ruth and like you I had both arms full of badges when I run out of room I, when I ran out of room I sewed them inside my sleeve I like that. These, I'd want them on display because I'm a show off. I'd want them on display. Um, I was kicked out of guides, she said, because horses and boys were more fun. <laughs> and I only turned up if I wasn't busy. I, <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. I think that's kind of what happens, though, isn't it? It's that, it's that, <laughs> it's that age, really, isn't it? It's when it can go all a little bit pear-shaped. But um, thank you very much. That was, that was, I, I, I love getting your texts anyway here at Jewelry Maker. Teenage, that's what it is, you see. Teenage time. Can't be doing with 20p in the owl. It's time to get out, <laughs> isn't it? Right, let's have a little bit of a wander over, shall we? I'll, t I'll bring my tea with me again. We are going to have another catch-up. But I've got to say, the big bundle that we had, the bundle with the gizmo, the DVDs, we said that would be popular. They've sold out. I hope, I hope you've put one aside well. for me. <laughs> Else there'll, be, there'll be trouble. I said to Paula... <laughs> So they have sold out, mm, but do we have the gizmos on their own still? Okay, so we've got the gizmos on their own still, so it's not all bad news. So we'll put the gizmos on their own. Now, if you're watching a live, um, watching a live show now, that's where we're up to. If you're watching a repeat show later on, you can always try. You can always see, because people might not have checked out the basket. People may have changed their minds. Mm don't know but it's always worth having a little bit of a look so the the wire coiling gizmo will bring out on the price for that so you can still just buy the gizmo and I know a lot of you probably you may have some of the DVDs it might just be the gizmo that you want but on its own it's still a cracking deal on its own the gizmo is only five 95 I think that's an amazing it's bargain a, and it's a tool it'll, it'll last forever actually it's it's a and for you, you know, I mean that's one of your that's one staples. of your yeah it's yes. your, one of I'm your always, main things isn't coiling. it <laughs> absolutely absolutely so 595 you want to just get the wire coiling gizmo so do call in for that now we had part one of the butterfly a little bit earlier on yeah. we'd got the body the antennae and the tail yes but I've we need some wing that, action don't doing we? the little weave round so that the bindings all tight at the top and then tell aren't literally you can see they're not going to move anywhere. They're not going to move anywhere. Fabulous. Okay. So I have left that little white piece of wire in case I want to just stop the body swiveling. Right. So I'm going to bind that round at the end. Okay. It's done the body. So I'm going to move on to doing the wings. And I'm taking four strips of um, um, 0.6 millimeter wire. You can use 0.8 millimeter coils if you like. Um, one is a centimetre longer than the other and basically this and this is one coil. So you just cut one bit right. shorter than the other, so it's basically one coil. Um, and I'm going to start making the first part of the wing. 
threading on, not 0.6. This is a bit like making a flower, but you're just making four petals. Okay. So bending round, bending the wire round. There we go. I'm just wrapping the wire round, and I'm just going to keep wrapping about a, about. So I'm just going to provide a little bit of space so mm -hmm. this wing can go at the back of the body. I'm going to leave that for binding onto the body later. Right. <coughs> now we're going to go on to follow the curve of the wire. It's curving down to the bottom, so I'm going to use the other long strip. So how much have you got there, approximately? Just a good um, I mean, you could go for longer. I think I've probably underdone it, actually, thinking about it. It's about eight centimetres, but we probably could go longer. And then your actual length of... Um, why? Probably got about I've a probably metre. got a metre, but um, I'm always a bit too much than not enough gal, and I think yep. that's probably, you can cut it down and use the, the ends for, for other things. Mm. And, and easy what to you take it use. away then sort of to add so it on. So thread it on the other one, and I'm going to curve round, round that, holding, you've got to watch it Ruth, because I'm just right, going to fly around. Right, I'll stand back. <laughs> um, and then just wrap around the body again. And we're going to do the other base. You can see it's how it's starting to form the butterfly wing. I, I think I could have gone bigger actually with the with the um, the wing. So I think you could have gone probably about ten centimeters and nine centimeters actually with the length of the coils. Okay. So I'll just probably just cut them a bit too short. So I think um, a little bit longer. Hold that on. And do another, and you can you can actually you can use two techniques. You can either wrap round or you can twist. That's another oh, okay. way of fixing it. So you can either wrap round or twist, twist those wings into shape. Round the body again, and then we're heading off to the base of the other wing. It's again, starting to look like a butterfly. Mm -hmm. And again, you can use these like little picture frames and bind bind wire across and bind beads into the middle yep. of these wings. I'm not going to do that today, but this is something you could do. You can develop the technique, de develop the idea more. So the wire you had with the little, with the little dragonfly? With the back, yeah, we could do that mm. technique. Um, instead of putting gizmo oh, coils on, so you've you got can that put, sort of crisscross. Yes. With, instead of putting gizmo coils, you can wire wrap. And all you do to create the veining um, so it spreads out more at the bottom is to do two wraps at the bottom and five or six mm -hmm. at the base. And you just have to hold your fingernail just to make sure that that, because that will want to slip that way. So yeah. you just, as you go, you have to keep holding that and wrap and wrap all the way to the end and tidy off. And you can get that veined effect. And if you just, again, I'm just showing design alternatives. So exactly, different ways of perfect. Doing it. So back onto this smaller pair of the wings. You can see how this this is great for tiaras. If you want to put these on little butterflies on tiaras and heck homes, um, party pieces, the, the summer ball season is coming up. It yeah. is. Yes, I'm glad so, you said that. So <laughs> summer ball. <laughs> there we go. So we've got the wings basically made. Now you can shape these with your fingers to actually make them a bit more like butterfly wings. What I'm doing is press down with my thumb and press down with my thumb just to make a little flat edge on that side. And again, I probably shake that too much. Again, if you do feel that these separate, you can either take the coil off um, and just press it back together again, or you can use your pliers just to gently put them back into shape. But be careful not to scratch the wire. I like it that they're okay. not uh, that they're not completely yeah, mirror image. Be, that they're, it's, you yeah. know, it's a, they should to look be about organic, because so. they, they should be because they're the same length coil. It's mm. just I've squished them in the wrong in the in the in the different place. So they're basically all right there. So. Moving on to the attaching the body, we're going to just attach it. You can see the form of the butterfly is there. I'm going to just remember what I did. Get that out of the way. And I'm going to just wrap that bit, the top wire, around the neck of the butterfly again. I could, normally I'd have this close to me, so forgive me again. And I've probably got too much wire. And then... wrap that it's starting to become secure mm -hmm. and then back up through the middle part there we hash it up there. it's lovely because you're not going to see how it's attached to. are you no but it, it should be all right actually you can you can now I'm going to have a look at it turn it over turn 
to do it for camera when it's actually you need to see what you're doing. So I'm just going to push that in and you can actually put this in, in the spiral if you like. Brilliant. Yeah, I'm actually going to continue here. There you go, and round. You can see that's travelling around a little bit, so I'm going to use that to bind and back around the base of the wing. So you're gradually travelling down, again, turning it over. You can use the pliers just to grip, grip this together, and you're done really with that. It's almost, it's almost like a dragonfly actually, rather than the butterfly, because the wings are too small. It still okay. looks really pretty. And then I'm going to trim these wires and, t and tuck them in in a minute. Just using, these have been used I think a lot on air. I think they're just, um, I'm using what cut to cut one mil wire as well. Mm. So just take a bit of time, it's probably a time to cut two, two at the same time. I'm going to, should tuck those in, but what I'm just going to do, that wire, that is trying to travel round. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to wrap around the head and the body just to help secure that in place and that actually now won't travel around. Right. I can use these bits of wire to secure a buckle, a, um, a brooch clasp on if you like. Lovely. Mm -hmm. um, but we're ready, that's that's ready, that's going to be part of a necklace now. So I've made a, a part of a necklace oh, that's wow. going to fit onto. So we're going to we're going to see that sort of be attached to? Yes. To the, to the necklace that hopefully by the end of the show. He's lovely. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much. So our butterfly has wings. Yeah. Um, we're going to attach you to a necklace a little bit later on before the end of this show. Keep sending in your texts for the um, for the dragonfly. If you've got a name for not the dragonfly, that was called Sophie, wasn't it? For the fish. <laughs> For the fish, uh, but stones because we've got another new in that I'm going to share with you right now. Are we going straight back over? Let's go straight back over. I shall take my Thank flask you, and I shall go. Thank no, you, Rachel. No we shall come and have another catch up. Me and my flask, me mm. and my flask. Right, which new in are we going to do? Shall we do? Oh la 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 la. Which one is? Is that this the? Let's do this. This is gorgeous. Have some peace and quiet, shall we? Suddenly, bit of peace, Jasper. It's got a wonderful marbled effect, this gemstone. Now, I've never presented this before, I've never seen it before, but I think this will be exceptionally popular. And actually, it's got, it's got a very subtle, sort of almost mint tone to it. Can you see that? It's very, very slight. So I say mint, a mint sort of, or, or even a, a sort of a yellow in there. So, and it reminds me of something, I cannot, cannot for the life put my finger on it, but it looks absolutely beautiful. Lovely, subtle, almost like a pre-night flash that's there within the gemstone. A slight sort of glow that you're seeing behind the gem. 440 carats of Peace Jasper, puffy coins. This is what I was saying earlier on, wasn't it? The Jasper, we just had the Zebra Jasper, Agates. There's so many different varieties. So many different varieties. 440 carats. 0800 on the telephone lines you've got that free phone telephone number i just think these look absolutely terrific we have had them before in jewelry maker haven't we the peace jasper hmm, i'm not sure mm. i'm not I sure so we have. no i'm not sure not sure about that what I, have, have you yeah, ever like have you ever seen it aren't they? Oh, they, those are Little, mints. i can't remember what i can't like see the mints. brand anyway i think like, that's yes. probably what they're remi they're reminding <laughs> me of when i'm mm. looking at them you've got that it's, it's spearmint color isn't it yeah it's that spearminty glow that you're seeing sort of underneath the gemstone they're really terrific Look, there we go. You can see them a little bit. They do look like mints. Don't eat them, <laughs> but they do look like mints. 20 millimetres. Be careful with those, then. Don't, don't let the dog have them. Oh, 800 655. They're a very nice size as well. You've got 20 millimetre uh, puffy coins. And again, these are brand new, so we've no, we don't, we've never seen these before. I just wasn't quite sure whether we'd actually seen p uh, this particular variety of jasper, but we don't think so. So lovely colours in there, lots of sort of swirls and swathes of different colours in there. And we're going to crash that price right down. We're going to give you a lovely introductory price yet again here for a brand new strand, 38 centimetres. 
$5.95. It has been deal after deal after deal all day today here at Jewelry Maker, hasn't it? This is no exception. You've got a stunning, stunning strand for $5.95. That is exceptionally beautiful. 0800 644 for your piece, Jasper. 440 carats in a strand. Absolutely wonderful. I'll hold it up so you can have a little bit of a look at those. It is, like isn't it? Peace, peace Jasper. Peace. Yes, it's a beautiful name, isn't it? Really lovely. Five nights. Look at that as well. I think that works quite nicely with my dress, actually. Very beautiful colours. So it's not as stark. It's not as harsh as perhaps if, if they were just a white or a, or, a, or a really solid cream. It's not as harsh as that because you've got these... I suddenly feel, feel like I should be doing that. With William, Prince William sat, no, sat next bit late for that, isn't it? Prince Harry then. Five pounds, 95 for 400 and 40 carats of peace jasper i feel like, like i need some satin gloves and a little tiara mm. thank you five pounds 95 i mean 106 triple four six double five for your peace jasper 440 carats they look absolutely terrific i love the different color tones that you're seeing in there very very nice indeed oh eight hundred six triple four six double five very very striking indeed and we've still got one more one more kit to share with you. We've got a lot of other strands and pieces to share with you still before the end of the show. So we've got loads to do and you've got lots more to choose from. On the telephone lines, £5.95, 0800 644 655. And on the web, all the w's.jewelrymaker.com. Definitely worth considering those because they are something very, very different indeed, aren't they? Fantastic. Now, coming up, I can't hear you actually, Deanna Chickadee. We've got another kit coming up. Okay, let's have a quick peek of this, shall we? Ooh, that is just gorgeous. So this is, <laughs> this is coming up for you very, very shortly within the show. You're gonna have a fabulous, fabulous opportunity to own this kit. Now this is our red carpet kit. Our red carpet jewelry kit. And what you are going to have in this kit is approximately a hundred a hundred pieces of gold plated copper bindings a hundred there's so many so many so that is the red carpet which is coming up for you but now it's all about the price slashes it's all about the price slash kits review so you've seen these kits possibly in the evening shows uh, you would have seen these before and we are going to show them share them with you at that very special uh, special special slashed price put my teeth in um i've got, got a couple of beautiful pieces now i'm going to do the first one with pie writing actually look at the size of these goodness me these are absolutely sensational so these are kits but we are really going to give them to you at amazing prices because they've been price slashed uh, uh, one thing i'm just going to hold those straight up because look at those on the neckline i'd be really tempted to get a couple of kits i would have to look at that just as a big chunky necklace really striking isn't it really bold makes some lovely designs that is 1300 carats 1300 carats of pyrite fantastic but look what else you get these look gorgeous together graduated tiger's eye 170 carats of tiger's eye graduated fasted rounds from six millimeters i'll show that to you there we go there's your little six millimeter right the way through to that big 15 millimeter in the very center and alongside this they are cute now this is abalone shell abalone shell nuggets they're really lovely uh, sort of color tones that you get from abalone and actually i do have a piece of abalone shell next to me which i can show to you so you can see where you're actually getting that smaller gem now this is abalone shell um very very nice indeed um i think this might actually be a power shell which is new zealand uh, so that's slightly different from what you're getting but abalone shell essentially is the iridescent lining of a mollusk and you get lovely different colors you can see in there the swathes and waves of color that you're seeing from that shell and um, they look extraordinary together they work really well together and then of course 150 meters of monofilament wire that's the 0 0.25 mil 50 meters of beading thread six plus meters of elastic one large one small gift bag plus 30 pieces of nine to five sterling silver 30 pieces from crimp beads to shepherd hooks silver ball head pins to your clasp and to your bolt ring clasp and jump ring all of this as part of the kit that's called an arabian sunrise in terms of this particular one of course if you're doing it for the first time you get your booklet and your dvd for free and um, originally 
27.95. I don't think we'd sniff at that. I don't think we'd say, oh, that's a really high price kit. 27.95. However, this has been grabbed by the, one of the late shows and it's been slashed. So I want to match it. I want to match that price slash. I, I, I don't want anybody to miss out. If you can't watch the evening show, but you watch the day, uh, vice versa, we don't want you to miss out. So let's absolutely equal that price slash. They were naughty. £17.95. Naughty, but very, very nice. It's 17 95 0800 644 This is a beautiful Arabian sunrise, isn't it? All of that golden luster that you're seeing from the pyrite is absolutely sensational. 30 pieces of solid sterling silver. You have a huge carat weight here. Huge. You're talking nearly 1500 carats of pyrite and tiger's eye because abalone shell we don't we don't give a carat weight to because it's an organic gemstone it's about the amount of gems the sizes of the gems the colors there we don't give a carat weight to that this is huge but we've got more to do don't forget you've got your solid sterling silver in there you've got your elastic your beading thread your organza gift bags all of that 17.95 a deal an absolute deal right next up Oh, what do we have in here? What do we have in here? Oh, black onyx, agate, and sardonyx, possibly. Now these are these are lovely sort of peanut shapes. Monk. Now I know, I know, I've brought this to you. I know I brought this to you because I had a whole conversation about monkey nuts. Because it's the well, it's the sort of shape. It's the sort of. There we go. You see. It's, <laughs> should have maybe explained that before I just shouted that out. But you can see there, peanuts, monkey nuts. It's that sort of shape, isn't it? 660 carats of black fire agate peanut shape beads. 40 by 15 millimetres. And you've got 35 carats of black sardonyx. 90 carats of black onyx in there. Three fabulous, fabulous strands. 38 centimetres that you can see there. <laughs> they are, oh my. Do you know what, Rachel? I have to put up with a lot here. Did you know? <laughs> a lot here. Apparently, Gareth's just brought me in an earring stand. He said he's just found an earring it's stand, enormous. which is the right, which is the right <laughs> height for me. <gasps> they're so, they're so rude. They're so rude. Uh, Gareth, Gareth, Gareth just. just We've got an understanding between us, haven't we, Gareth? We, we, just have a, we just have a little bit of fun, don't we? We just have a little bit of fun. A little bit of fun. There we go, so that's my earring stand. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Thank you for that, Gareth. That's very helpful. Very helpful indeed. Gareth's our very own George Clooney here in the, in, in the, uh, in the studio. It's our very own George Clooney. He's our little silver head. Right, 29, uh, 24, sorry, 24. 95 that's producer gareth 24.95 that's the original price or that's the slash price isn't it original price for the right image and jewelry kit now having mentioned your silver you've got 30 pieces again from crimp beads to bolt ring clasp jump rings head pins silver shepherd hooks then you've got your meter 50 meter beading thread six plus meters of elastic 150 meters of monofilament <gasps> one large and one small gift bag and all four 15.95 brilliant get it get it get it get it that is an incredible incredible deal look at everything you're getting here the depth of color that's superb black sardonyx black onyx puffy coins eight mil and black fire agate peanut shapes they are you could wire wrap just one of those you could have an amazing pendant if see, i love i love my wire wrapping wire wrapping my pendants <gasps> i love it 15.95 15.95 they are absolutely Absolutely incredible. 0800 655. This is a review of all the price slashed kits. So get involved because you are getting, going to get some terrific, terrific deals in this selection of the show. I'm going to move on so I can get more in. As many as I can. I think I'm going for I think I'm going for colour here. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go for a lot of colour. These are lovely. I want I like I want this strand. I want this strand and this strand. They're both really beautiful. Oh, these look like, um, oh my, these remind me of sweets as well. I can't think what they are. Oh, what are they called? Like lemon, uh, not lemon sherbet. You get the little sweets that are, that are, that are just, they have that twist. They look like that basically. <laughs> they have that little twist in. I don't know what they're called. Uh, they're just, it's just, or is it just like a little piece of uh, rock maybe? Maybe no. it's just rock, <laughs> I'm thinking of. Rock, little, 
little, little sort of rock balls type thing. Anyway, we've got 400, is it lunchtime? We've got 420 carrots of multicolour cracked. <laughs> we've gone from monkey nuts, nuts to now we've got the yellow rock balls for you here. Multicolour cracked agate, irregular drops, there we go. Golden shell, irregular faceted beads and multicolour cracked agate. Well, this is all very complicated for me to say this morning. I love the colours. I love the colours that you're getting in here. They are gorgeous as well, aren't they? The faceted rounds, they look like tourmalines, actually. Very beautiful. They really look like tourmalines. So many fabulous colours and so different. I, I really like those. The golden shell that you're getting, beautiful colour tones. Very, very pleasant indeed. They are lovely, like sort of honey yellows, primrose tones, and then look at all the different colours you're getting here. We've got purples and greens. They're very fruity, aren't they? Very, very fruity, lots of fun. Uh, and you've got these wonderful big drops. Solid, um, uh, you've got 30 pieces of sterling silver. Again, just the same as the previous kits there, all of that silver. Your monofilament wire, beading thread, elastic, one large, one small organza gift bag. That's your original price, believe it or not. 21.95 is the original price. Are you sitting down? You've not got any hot soup in your hand right now, have you? We don't want it going up in the air. Have you got the cat on, the, on your knee? Hold on to it. 21.95 and get your claws into this because this will be a terrific, terrific deal. An amazing price slash happening here. Right the way, right the way down, 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 down to 14.95. Got to get this, got to get this. Look at how much you're getting in terms of the quality of those gems. But look at the colours. They're so playful, aren't they? Those beautiful agates, the gorgeous drops together. I mean, that together is just going to make a fantastic design. And we are loving, loving, loving those golden shell, irregular fasted beads. Beautiful compliments. Of course, with 30 pieces of sterling silver, your findings, all of your monofilament, your beading thread, your elastic and your gift bags, £14.95. We're basically saying less than £5 a strand of gemstones, less than £5 for a 38 centimetre strand. And then it's almost like getting organza gift bags, all of your beading thread, all of your wire, all of that, silver findings for nothing and giving you 5p back in the process. That's how low that is. £14.95. Doesn't work out, does it? But it works out for you if you're watching right now. Be on those telephone lines and take that on the web. This is unbelievable. I think there is one more to do. Let's squeeze one more in. Oh, these, I think I've done this for you as well before. These are wonderful, great colours. I would actually say, I think what you're getting here, you see, I think straight away I'd say autumnal. You've got wonderfully rich autumnal colours. However, Think of the summertime, think of those hot oranges, those hot warm reds, and totally, totally this goes through, doesn't it? We are putting our hands deeply in the honey pot for this one for you, because that's what it's called, the honey pot jewelry kit. And we are fetching out wood color fire agate plain rounds. They're six millimeters there in the center. Then you've got the red cracked agate plain rounds. They are eight millimeters, followed by these beautiful big, brown fire agate 16 millimeters tremendous tremendous uh, detail in all of those look at that in the center aren't they gorgeous you've got six millimeters eight millimeters 16 millimeters all together really absolutely they are terrific aren't they solid sterling silver we've got 30 pieces again so we're talking 10 silver crimp beads three silver bolt ring clasp and jump rings, 10 silver ball head pins, they're 40 millimeters long, two ball, uh, two millimeter ball, and you have two pairs of sterling silver shepherd hooks. Don't they look incredible? Now, in terms of your wire elastic, etc., you've got 100 meters of monofilament wire, six plus meters of elastic, 50 meters of beading thread, one large and one small gift bag. So all of that, all of that together is making your jewellery kit. $24.99, I don't have a problem with that. $24.99 sounds great, feels great, looks fantastic when you consider everything that you're getting. But we will price slash this for you. We are going to take that price much lower. You're going to get such a phenomenal deal on this. On the telephone lines, 0800 644 Get ready for that price. We're going to slash that price down for you. On the web as well, get ready. All the W's dot jewelrymaker.com. Let's do it. Let's go for it. 
How low can we go? Right. We've ju we've just taken this kit to thir I think that's one of the one of the most affordable kits I've ever done. Thirteen pounds ninety five. Thirteen. Yeah. That's just ridiculous. Thirteen pounds ninety five. You've got the solid selling silver findings. You've got the, all of the elastic, the the uh, monofilament wire. Get it. Don't even think about this. Get it home. That's your honeypot jewelry kit. That is absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. My goodness me. It, How can you make the kits for, for that and I, then set them aside? Seriously? Make, I don't know. Make any money Seriously, on it. for this one, <laughs> I do not know. This is this is where I say you win some, you lose you some do. here. Yeah. We have to be losing some. We have to be. $13.95. Just I mean, just for that one strand, just for the one big yes. strand. You could easily know, pay easy, that. Easy, yes, easy. And Fantastic. And they're so workable in terms of the colours. You've got these lovely oranges. Absolutely phenomenal. £13.95. In fact, uh, the, the final kit that you've not seen, I think the reds that you're getting here, the, the beautiful red cracked agate, I think that is going to work brilliantly with the red carpet kit that's coming up. Totally, totally complimentary. £13.95. They're going to go very, very super quick indeed. If you watch a repeat show later on, Give it a go, you never know. But crikey, I think that's mm. got to be one of the lowest prices I've seen for a kit. Never. Got to be, got to be. Should we squeeze in another new one? Should we have another newbie? Ooh, I like. Is this fluorite? This is pretty. It's a very fresh mint, beautiful fresh mint colour. Now, fluorite is meant to be one of the most colourful gemstones on the planet. You get gorgeous different tones, lovely different hues. But here we've selected the greens. We've really gone for these beautiful, beautiful minty greens that you can see here. And they do look very, very pretty indeed, don't they? Again, that is summertime wrapped up, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Nice size as well, not too big, not too large. We've got six millimetres of your green fluorite there, the plain rounds, but you can see the energy that you're getting, the vibrancy here is from within the gemstone. It's from within those gemstones. Aren't they pretty? Lovely translucency, transparency to the gem. Very clean, very, very beautiful indeed. And that's allowing that colour to charge forward. Green is a very, it's a very calming colour. There's a reason that in the theatre or in, in studios like this, it's called the green room where the actors or the, the artists always go to sort of relax and chill out before a show. It's called the green room because they were painted green because it was meant to be a very soothing colour, a very mm. calming colour. And uh, obviously it's meant to calm, calm the nerves before you do a show. <laughs> but this is brand new today and fluorite has a, an, a, the ability to sort of fluoresce. You get the fluorescence from the gemstone within there brand new today we're going to give to you another another brilliant brilliant deal on this strand doesn't that look incredible oh 800 six triple four six double five it's nice to see the mint sort of selected here as well isn't it yes it's a beautiful gemstone i like fluorite all in all i do like the banded fluorite as well mm. but it's also nice to get a, a consistent color all the way through so you yeah can so you've got cons consistent yes, spacings and yeah, the yeah. colour in, in your design. Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. I, I keep chatting to <laughs> Rachel. I'm trying not to chat too much to you in this I've show. Got earring, <laughs> earring fluorite, earring fluorite. <laughs> Rachel's so busy over there, so I'm trying to, trying to keep out of your way. <laughs> right, uh, we've got 110 carats. Let's do it, shall we? Brand new. Brand new today. 0800 644 655. How low can we go? Under 15, would that be nice? Would that be gorgeous? Under 14, maybe? I'm ready. Let's do it, Deanna. Three, two, one. It's under, but I had a sneaky feeling it might be single figures. Four pounds forty-five. Every single one of these brand new strands today have just hit a phenomenal basement price, an incredible low. We are not just talking first floor or ground floor. We are talking serious, serious basement, aren't we? That low. Four hundred, four hundred and forty-five pounds. It's not four pounds. <laughs> four pounds, but I clearly need another slice of cake. Four pounds, 45, oh, 800, I, I don't. Oh, 800, six, triple four, six, double five. I'm gonna hold those up so you can have a look at those against the neck, because you've got such amazing quality, that translucency in the gemstone. Don't they, you see, they're not over explosive in terms of color. You don't want them to be really sort of in your face, very primary color. This is gonna be the choice for you. They're very soft, very delicate, and I think because of that, they're very flattering against the skin tone. Really pretty, imagine this, with your summer dresses. Are you some
summer dresses out? Have you been clambering up in the loft to get your summer dresses out? You need them. You need them this week. It's going to be lovely. £4.45. Stay on the telephone lines. Congratulations on the web as well. You've got a great deal, another great deal to add to that one set of postage and packaging. Do stay with us here. Do stay here with us because we still have another kit to share with you. After this very short break, we are going to roll out the red carpet for CNMO. If you have a question or query for Jewellery Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewellerymaker.com. You can now watch clips from Jewellery Maker on our YouTube channel. Get interactive with Jewellery Maker. We all know you need the right tools for the job, so here at Jewelry Maker, we have designed a kit to make sure you have all the essentials to join in with the fun. With round nose, flat nose and wire cutter pliers, as well as a reamer, tweezers and a bead scoop, you've got everything you need in one place for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. You can now keep in touch by liking Jewelry Maker UK on Facebook. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. My thoughts on Jewelry Maker. I find that if you're an experienced Jewelry Maker or new to the hobby, Jewelry Maker has everything for you. Right from the basic findings up to the more expensive and a little bit more um, intricate um, feature beads, pendants that you can bead. I think it's a really, really lovely site. As a teacher myself, I have bought all of the basic kits for my students. You can't get them cheaper anywhere. Very comprehensive, very nicely made, um, quality goods. I really can't say much more about Jewellery Maker. It's a really good site to visit. When you're watching our day show or repeat show on the internet, you can hold up to two items in your basket at any one time. However, when watching the live late show, between the hours of 5pm to 9pm, things are slightly different. Due to the stock quantity being live, you can only place one item in your basket before you must check that item out, giving a fair opportunity for all watching. Remember, you can only purchase items from the Live Late Show by heading to the Jewelry Maker homepage and clicking the Watch Us Live button. Enjoy the online experience with Jewelry Maker. If for any reason you're not satisfied, you have the benefit of our no quibble 30 day money back guarantee. Just complete the returns form enclosed with your goods and send them back for a full refund. Now this is our final kit of the show today and have we saved the best till last? Hmm, I think we may have done. Uh, we are rolling out the red carpet, that's the name of this very, very final kit and it's just gorgeous. I think we need the red carpet at the moment, it's Cannes Film Festival, it's all about celebrities being out there isn't it? Uh, this is definitely what I would call the A-lister kit, red carpet, have a look at everything that you're getting here, the most incredible rich, rich colours. Red coated copper wire is included in this kit, I will come on to that, but in terms of your gemstones here, we're looking at 260 carats of red agate faceted squares. They're 12 millimetres and actually they're double drilled. You can see that at the top there. They're double drilled so that's something that you you can be aware of there obviously. The, the beautiful beautiful colour and quality and sitting alongside that we're staying with the red, red agate and we're bringing to you the faceted drops. Nine by six millimetre faceted drops. As if that wasn't enough, you expect maybe your third strand, which you're getting, which is 100 carats of black onyx. They're faceted round, six millimetres. That's actually a little bit more. Normally we expect 38 centimetres unless otherwise stated. That's actually 39, so you're getting an extra centimetre. 
which is always a bonus, isn't it? But we're not stopping there because this additional strand, we didn't even know we had this. We did a bit of exploring. We had a look at, at the kit in detail this morning and suddenly we discovered an additional strand. But what you're getting here is black spinel, nine inches of faceted black spinel and rose gold plated nine to five sterling silver. I think that is absolutely exceptional. Black spinel is known as the master of disguise in the jewelry world. It, it, it is often mistaken for black diamond. It is an incredible, incredible alternative. And to see, I know you love the chain links like this. They are so usable, but that is a real added bonus to this particular kit. Now, as I mentioned, you are going to get 10 meters of your red <laughs> copper coated <laughs> wire. Bless you, Jack. Jack's got hiccups if you heard that. 10 meters of red coated copper wire. It's 0 0.6 millimeters and look how well that works with the agate. Absolutely sets it on fire, doesn't it? Incredibly complimentary. And then 50 meters of your beading thread, six plus meters of your clear elastic, plus you still get your monofilament. So check all of that out. That's fantastic. So you're getting the extra, you're getting the, the copper, uh, uh, the red coated copper wire as a bonus if you like you're getting the black spinel as a bit of a bonus and 100 pieces i can't believe this 100 pieces of gold plated copper look at all of that all of those findings that is amazing i couldn't believe it when i opened the kit i thought i'm sure it, it's the first time i've seen the new types of kits yeah and did you um, think we got I was it wrong? absolutely astounded <laughs> yes i thought there's no way this can be the mid-range kit yeah when it's got all this gold in it i know there's so much there's and so much and it's really nicely gold gold plated yeah beautifully Especially done the clasps it? yeah so i'll go through everything that you get in terms of your your, your sort of your pieces there this is beautiful, isn't it? Now, the graphics have just changed on the screen. I apologise for that. It says fields of gold again. It's not field of gold. It's red carpet. So just ignore that for a second. Uh, but the gold's right that you're seeing on the screen. Oh, wowzers. Shepherd hooks, you've got approximately three pairs. Head pins, approximately 15 pieces. That's 40 millimetres. Crimp bead covers, approximately 15. Closed jump rings, they're seven mil, approximately 10. You've got plain uh, beads, four millimeters, which are approximately 10 pieces. You've also got the gold plated copper twist oval loop chain. Mm. That in itself, that's a meter, an entire meter, three by four millimeters. Plus your copper eye pins, four millimeters, 10 of those. Earring chandeliers, you get a pair. You've mm. also got 20 pieces of crimp beads. This is phenomenal. And then you've got your clasps. You get a heart toggle clasp, 17 by 19 millimeters, a toggle clasp, which is 13 millimeters, and your gold plated copper bolt ring clasp and jump ring, which is seven millimeters. That is absolutely terrific. 100 pieces of gold plated copper. I can't believe you get, it. you get all of that. A meter of chain link in here, with the black spinel, with the addition of the copper wire, you're obviously expecting to pay a little bit more for this kit, aren't you? You've got to for how much you're getting. For how much you're seeing, three individual strands, strands plus your black spinel on the chain with the rose gold overlay, and you still get your gift bags, one small and one large. There is a great deal here, isn't there? There is a lot to take hold of brand new today red carpet jewelry kit we are going to wow you wow you with the price here 100 pieces of gold plated copper findings 60 pounds 50 pounds 29 29.95 isn't that stunning? One of our brand new kits. I love this. You instantly think with 100 pieces of gold plated copper findings, the price has got the price has to jump up. Look at all of that gold at the top. Literally an entire metre. This has got to be one of the most bargainest kits we've ever done. I don't care if that's not a word, but it really is. 29.99 with the black spinel, with the addition of the copper wire. This is this has to be one of the biggest kits in terms of how much you get for how little you're paying, 29.99. Absolutely extraordinarily beautiful. This is gorgeous, 0800 644 655. Now, well done to those of you who are already on the telephone lines. 
absolutely completely don't blame you on this at all it's a great way of taking home these gemstones of adding in of really bumping up your findings remember these are gold plated copper findings so you've got everything from shepherd's hooks to eye pins to earring chandeliers to heart toggle clasps to, to crimp beads there's so much in there and of course a meter a meter of your twist oval loop chain which i think is phenomenal 29.99 with three strands two of agate one of course that black onyx and then you've got the black spinel these are going to sell absolutely i think that's going to be one of the best selling kits and i have to say the pieces of jewelry you're going to create with it if, if rachel's designs are anything to go by you're going to love this you're going to be back time and time again we're going to have a look we're going to have a look at some of these designs that rachel's uh, created keep coming in on that keep coming in and taking home that kit because it is it is going very very well i'm not surprised quite frankly 29.99 what was your reaction um, to this, Rachel? Well, I was amazed <laughs> to see all the gold findings. I thought, well, mm. I've never seen a kit like that before. And it just seemed to go on and on and on. I made, I mean, made I made four here. sets of earrings, wow. um, three bracelets and two necklaces. And I probably could have, you know, instead of carried making on. one bracelet, I could have made another necklace, you know, yeah. I could have carried on. But they're all beautiful pieces. Nice collection of gemstones to work with as well, aren't they? The agate mm. and the and the black spinel. I think that's a real bonus. Yes, to have that as a little tassel at the bottom. You that's could ha ha have them as little earring tassels yep. as well. Sort of the chandelier drops. Features on the bracelet, and you can use those in any way you want. But I just thought there's a little tassel to that mirror and echo the black um, agate in the um, tassel pendant. And I love I mean, this. I love the fact that you get all of that chain. That really yeah. is a bonus. Absolutely well, I've used useful. it very simply, really. Yeah. Um, but you could. Linda did a lovely way of actually sort of dangling them round mm. gemstones. And I've used that as a lariat style. That's gorgeous. The clasp is so stunning. You don't want to, you want to hide it at the back of the necklace. You want that clasp um, on show. It's a beautiful little heart. Yeah. So um, I've pendant tassels, three little drops, um, using some of the chain. And literally, I've got so much out of the chain. <laughs> Um, they have with the bracelet as well and down then there. Double stranded this almost to make an Egyptian style um, um, necklace here. Then um, carried it round the back. Um, so you're not using gemstones, you're just using chain. There we go, so the chain the all the way. back of the neck. And then you can attach it back Beautiful. again at the clasp again at the front. It is a shame to wait. I always like mm. to bring the clasps round. I often do that. Yes, because the toggle clasps especially are so beautiful. Mm. And the, the only thing with this one, you've just got to make sure you've got one bead longer on one side. Um, of the double strand, so it just hangs right. and tends to hang in the right direction. Yeah, so it's all equal. Yes. And then look, look at the bottom here, we've got all of these pairs of earrings. Obviously, you've used the copper wire in there as well. I mm. do like the colour of that. It's quite the vibrant. Red is gorgeous. Quite vibrant. Um, again, sort of, uh, not just maybe summer pieces, but maybe bringing it into autumn and winter pieces. Mm. You've got some really Christmassy colours. I know wow, we're early, that. but. You know, that's, that's yes, what we, that can't, we can't talk about Christmas yet, can we? We've not had some yet. Best time extension. <laughs> but um, again, I also would combine it with other wire colours. Mm. So I'd mix that red, if I had it at home, with a bit of chocolate um, antique bronze. Wonderful. Um, or a little bit of black to make some really sort of um, pieces mm. that I'd, I'd actually colour combine. If you don't want to be in your face red, you can actually <laughs> um, mute it down with some of the darker wire colours. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Yeah. Well, could we see oh a technique? Now, mm. th this is the one that I went to instantly because yes. I just, I just love that. Could you, could you maybe show us a little bit of this? Yes, um, I can. The, I, ha to give I it have a go. got um, instructions, which I'm going to take some beads home and take photographs. Oh, okay, for, fabulous. Um, so, we'll go to, if we don't have time to do the right. whole thing today, basically, the base of the pendant, if we bring it down, and uh, yep. we can just show it um, here, has got six beads. Um, it's a beady bead, but it's uh, involving these lovely teardrop shapes. And you've got six beads in a cluster at the base with six agates on and six gold beads in between, which you put on mm -hmm. as last. And in the core of the pendant, you've actually got some beads inside. So you start off with, um, shall, I, I'll, shall I go through this process yes, of assembly? Yes, so it's like a big, big beady bead in essence. Mm. Um, starting off with a jump ring to which you'd attach these um, three links of spinel, which are one of which I swept away. Um, jump ring with a little um, crimp and one of the little golden beads. Um, later on, the last thing I'll do is attach that tassel, but you imagine that's got the tassel on it at the bottom. First of all, thread on one agate. And then what I've done 
is I've made three little um, elasticated rings of three. You can do that with monofilament if you like. I just had a quick bit of time this morning to make mm -hmm. it, so I made them with elasticated um, rings. And I'm going to make the next stage of the beady bead, which is that. So I'm going to thread on one of those. And the, the one that I don't think is quite as good as can go inside and hide out of the way. <laughs> because I've made, I've assembled one. I don't know whether, we, have we got time to actually make this on air? Because um, I, I, I don't know. mind do it starting got, it have off. Have we got time to make this one or do you want us to forge through to with? Do. So I can post the instructions on, on, um, on the okay, website. We've got about 10 minutes. Okay. So if that helps you. Right. We can carry on with that one or? What? Well, you can show it to us. Ten minutes, so. Ten minutes is probably enough time just okay, to go okay, through, um, just let's to start it. it. Let's do it. Why not? Okay. It's always that bit where I think, oh, have I got it? Well, I guess it's right. <laughs> no now, pressure, but no dun, pressure. Dun, 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 so dun. I've got the beads I need. Basically, six um, of the carnelian. They are carnelian, are they, um, Ruth? And six agate. What's the orange bead? Was it it's carnelian? Uh, the red remember. agate. Red, red agate. Well, it looks like carnelian. It's it so does. Well, it absolutely, it's got that glow, hasn't it? So I'm threading on um, onto monofilament, and it's best to use monofilament for this because you need to pass the thread through the beads multiple times. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm basically putting the fat point closest to the black ag agate. That happens the whole way round because you want the thin points to taper downwards. If I just do the base, I pro you probably don't need to see the top being made because it's just the same repetitive process. Mm. So I'm going to thread this through and I make the first um, triangle. This is Mrs. Clumsy Hands trying to make wire worker. <laughs> Clumsy Hands trying to make things up with monofilaments on there, which is possibly a big mistake. <laughs> so I shall do my best. It's just Filling great to see through. where to start because with a lot of this, I, I look at the I look at the end result and I think I don't know, well, I don't know where to start even to do that. Basically, you're doing lots and lots of circles. Mm. You're repeating. You're going through and through. It's almost repeating yourself the whole way through. Right, I've got um, a little circle of three. Is it too confusing? Let's sweep these out of the way so you can just see That's what right. we're doing. Um, from the base of this one, I want to go up to the next little little um, point. And I want to put another agate on. These are selling very well, by the way, the red carpet jewellery kit. It's beautiful ornate colours. And I thought the tassel just looks so Persian and uh, Middle they Eastern. They really do. Beautiful. In fact, I think pretty much all of these have been allocated now in the live show. Again, if you're watching the, the repeat later on, give them a try. You can always call the call centre in case somebody changes their mind, but they have pretty much all been allocated. So really great work on that. Bring this back through, bring this back through and you're making another, the second little triangle. And then you're going to tighten it. If I tighten it, you can see how it's starting to form the base of that. I'm going to bring that back up again. It, it's, there's a lot of repetition where you're passing the thread through, back through, and that's why monofilament is really the best mm. way to go with this um, and it doesn't matter you tighten it all up at the end so it can be quite loose mm -hmm. until you sort of tighten it all up at the end so it doesn't look like much until you've actually finished it mm. Let's check I've got this. Tighten it nicely and I need to go through the next put the next black agate on I'm starting you see that little flower it's like almost like yeah. a flower at the base um, starting to form Remember to put the fat end nearest the black agate so that you have the pointies, pointy bit down. Okay. So I put a thread on another black agate <coughs> um, and the orange agate, my third hand, which is my mouth, goes, <laughs> sorry about this, <laughs> you do cut the ends off, goes back in and you've got the next part of it. Um, so you I'm can start to see it forming shape already, can't you? Yes. I'm going to just pass it back through because I want to come out the other the other end and to bring up to the next part of the base. So back through the agate, so I want to come in some way down to the base again. That's the way. I'm trying to use the long end rather than the short end, so I don't use it all up. 
it would be sensible to start in the middle of the bead and with a longer length of monofilament. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so we've got. Well, actually, four. now, just speak while you're just talking about that. Was this the bag of. That was all the stuff left over. I didn't now, this even is from touch. The three yeah, so three, three kits, kits isn't I didn't it? even touch the. the um, I'm putting on another orange and a black, by the way. So I didn't even touch over. those. Those are actually fresh and that you can be used. You know, I haven't even opened the, the so, seals So across on them. those, because you get so much in the kits, across the three kits that we sent uh, to, I was going to call you Louise then. <laughs> I used up all the elastic <laughs> because I did that elasticated necklace. Mm. Back through, back through so again. You've got a lot left. I'm just going to make the base of this because basically you're repeating um, the design for the um, and back through the base of this you're just looping the loop until you basically make this six part flower and then you put another six six little beads on orange beads on top another black agate so we'll get there I'll show you the, the finished one that's nearly nearly done I always say that don't I <laughs> <laughs> nearly done so I'll just check, have I got one, two, three, four, five, I've got six, so I just need another agate in on that. Mm -hmm. To the base of this next one, and I just want to put some, so I get, it doesn't really matter how you end up at it, as long as you've got the points at which you can knot, mm -hmm. and you can carry on up, um, that would be, that's all you need. And I need right. just one more black agate, and I've made the first part of the circle. And you just continue on, um, for the top part, which I'll show you in a minute, yep. just to add on, just to make the form the top part of. Oops. There we go. This is why it won't work. Now you can see that little flower has has basically formed. Yeah. And I just bring this monofilament up, back up, ready to form the next tier. That brings it all yeah, together. To bring it, and that is one of the base <coughs> of that flower. And this comes, this monofilament comes back up because I want to just attach it all together um, and it forms the base of this one. Can you see? That right, that. so that's with the added. That's just with the six on top. Yeah. And I'll post instructions on the on the web later. Okay, so lovely, six thank there you. And six there and and that round. So, so I haven't tightened that. the whole thing up yet because I right. actually want to assemble this actually on the wire because I need something because this is really squishy and I need something to hold it all inside. Sorry. So, so what I'm going to do is just thread up the wire through the centre and before I tighten up this monofilament oh before I tighten up the monofilament I'm going to add the core beads which are mm -hmm. going to give the structure to the internal structure to the piece. Yep. So I want another three, probably the most rubbish of these. Um, and first you add a one agate, one triple, and another single agate. And you, pop, you post that inside the core, core of the bit, core of the, of all my tools gone at all. Get we'll it grab those. Sure. We'll get Bambi on the case. Oh. So I threaded it through the wrong bit. Sorry everyone. Uh, it really is irretrievable. I'll sort it out in a minute when we finish the Thank demonstration, because otherwise I'll be watching. Yes, we've got Natalia's boots in there. I think we <laughs> think it's Natalia's boots. Right. Sorry, I thread it through the. Um, get that in there. So it's really oh. starting to form. Sorry, it will oh, sorry. form. <laughs> just got to get it through the the centre core of this, otherwise it just won't work. I was just desperately trying to put it in the, the wrong bit. One, then three, and then another one. There we go. Right. And post that inside. Mm -hmm. I think I probably tightened it up a lot before I, because I wanted to show the form of it. Mm -hmm. You really should have it quite loose. Post that inside. I've got the little bead inside, I've just got yep. to get the three and the one. It does work. 
I've got the proof there next exactly. to Exactly. Oh, here, look. Yes. Yeah. So now I've, that bead is a lot more solid. Oh, thank goodness yep. for that. Um, <laughs> now I'm just going to just tighten up all the threads and tie a little knot. Right. And then we'll, we can, you've had gold beads around the side. So I'm just going to tie that little knot first of all. And monofilament, it's knots really nicely mm. and really firm. And just a couple of or three knot, little knots. And you can pull that quite tightly, you can be. Yeah, I probably, probably not tight enough, but I'm going to make sure it's a little bit tighter than I've done it. So I've done two little knots. I'm going to put the other um, agates on, so you can start to see the bead forming, and then we'll put on the, um, the final gold beads around the centre. So I put another three on, another single, Another single, okay, and a gold bead. So that's what you sort of finish up with at the top of the pendant. And you okay. can crimp off, add a jump ring on that. So you can see, again see how this see is that's really tass tassel is starting to form. I haven't form. pulled them on the filament that greatly tightly, but that's okay. Now but that gives you we. What I'll do, we're running out of time. we are a little bit, so okay. what I'll do... All you do then is add the three, the silver beads inside, all the way around and knot and tighten. And that's Fabulous. It. And Rachel, you'll put, you'll put details of this on yes. the website anyway. So d so if you're just sort of getting into that thinking, no, we will give you the details. We'll give you the details of that. So that will be your end result. Absolutely beautiful. I'm just doing that. And so that, that, that's, that's basically it. You're just yeah, putting I was going to say, you're nearly there, yes. aren't you? Mm. And then that lovely chandelier. It's quite a that complex sort of drop. in the time, so we've done it. It is, it is. It's, but the effect is tremendous. So look out. We'll get all those details on our web page, on our uh, Facebook page for you. But something we want to share with you very quickly um, is a brand new workshop. Now, I'm going to come to this. It's a business academy workshop. I think it's great for everybody who's starting out as a new venture, who's, who's really sort of wanting to get to uh, to, to, to start to maybe sell or, or promote their jewellery have a look at this and get booking your places because I think this is going to sell out very very fast indeed have a look do you make jewellery as a hobby would you like to learn key skills to help you successfully market and sell your handmade jewellery we are working with Angela Edwards who is an experienced jewellery maker as well as a small business trainer to bring you the perfect course to help develop basic business skills. The full course includes how to create a business plan to successfully sell your products, how to access current and potential customers, how to identify and profile your target market, how to generate leads to secure current and future sales, how to use online social networking to your advantage and key knowledge on legal requirements and insurances. For information about dates and to reserve your place, please contact 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. If you have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. We all know you need the right tools for the job. So here at Jewelry Maker, we have designed a kit to make sure you have all the essentials to join in with the fun. With round nose, flat nose and wire cutter pliers, as well as a reamer, tweezers and a bead scoop, you've got everything you need in one place for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. When you're watching our day show or repeat show on the internet, you can hold up to two items in your basket at any one time. However, when watching the live late show, between the hours of 5pm to 9pm, things are slightly different. Due to the stock quantity being live, you can only place one item in your basket before you must check that item out, giving a fair opportunity for all watching. Remember, you can only purchase items from the Live Late Show by heading to the Jewelry Maker homepage and clicking the Watch Us Live button. Enjoy the online experience with Jewelry Maker.
Okay, welcome back to Jewelrymaker. Isn't that course looking fab? You need to do that. I'm going to certainly see if I can get my place on that. Um, thank you so much for all your messages on our website, Facebook comments, etc. Uh, quite a, few, a lot of you have been sending us little uh, messages. Lynn Cargill, hello to you, saying having Rachel on is a real treat. She's one very talented lady. We know with that. Indeed, she's doing very, very well. Your dragonflies proved a hit. Um, we've also had um, um, a message from Alice, Alice Letts. Uh, could she show us how to wire wrap um, a, a pearl ring, please? We can show you a ring. We, we're not going to do it with a pearl, but we can certainly show you how to do a ring. Uh, but if you like pearls, I can bring to you pearls now. So I've got a lovely selection of pearls here. These are beautiful, but I'm going to do you a bit of a treat on these, if that's all right, if that's all right. I'm sure it is. I'm sure you'll appreciate a treat. Uh, very well done, by the way. And if you are watching one of our repeat shows later, such a busy morning, lots and lots of pieces have all been allocated, but it's definitely worth having a look later on this afternoon, just in case people change their mind or, or orders don't get, uh, get sort of confirmed. But this is lovely. Don't forget, if you do want the gizmo, the gizmo on its own is still available. All the bundles have been allocated, but again, it might change later on in the day, so worth a look. Look at these, though. Look at these. And we need to give, we need to find the prop, the final name for the fish, don't we? We had some more. We had some more texts. He looks like a pike, so call him Spike. I like that. I like that. That was from Gillian. Thank you, Gillian. <laughs> Any more? Just finding them. Did you read the other ones? Jasper, and we said flounder, maybe. I like, I like, I like, well, we, we should, we should let you decide, really, shouldn't we, Ruth? Uh, Ruth? I'm Ruth. <laughs> oh, goodness me. <laughs> It's 20, it's 20 to what? It's lunchtime, isn't it? That's what it is. Goodness, I'm talking to myself again. I'm the only person that listens. Right, three strands. <laughs> three strands of Baroque pearl. I'm dreadful. Goodness me. It's not quite so bad. My mum always calls me Rita when we're at home, and that's the name of the cat. She's like, Rita, can you... I'm like, Ruth, I'm your daughter. Ruth, it's Ruth. I'm not, I haven't got a black fluffy tail and ears. Uh, this is your three strand. <laughs> Three strand pack of pearls. Look at the colours. You've got the classic creams, you've got the lovely soft pinks, and those beautiful soft peach tones in there. It is really about wedding season, isn't it? If you're thinking about, bless you, Jack, tiaras or necklaces, um, joy for, for the mother of the bride, the bride, the bridesmaids, a three strand pack of pearls you might think would set you back quite a lot. Um, bearing in mind that these are such beautiful gems. They are real pearls. They're not perfectly spherical. They're Baroque shape, but seven to nine millimeters for me adds more character potentially. Got lots of different looks there. But three strands, if I was to say 10 pounds a strand, I think maybe elsewhere, you're looking at 30 pounds for three strands, then I think that we, it, it, that sounds perfectly reasonable, doesn't it? When you think one of those, you could restring Add on your jump ring uh, bolt clasp at the end, and you've got a classic, classic pearl necklace. I wouldn't be really thinking about ten pounds for 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 a piece of jewellery for a necklace like that. I, I could I could add on a fair whack if I'm honest with you. Just for a pair of pearl earrings. What are we looking at? Well, you could make earrings, necklaces, bracelets. You could indeed make your rings as well if you wanted to. And of course, your tiaras, even your combs for your hair. There's so many different things that you can do, but they are genuine pearls. They make such beautiful gifts. Pearls will never date at the end of the day, will they? If we're thinking about pearls, we're thinking probably about the, the classic style icons, uh, sort of Sophia Loren, Audrey Hepburn, of course, Coco Chanel. Obviously, it's all about the pearls, isn't it? It's all about you owning pearls. These are brand new today as a three-strand pack of Baroque pearls. They are so elegant, so beautiful, and we will make these an amazing premiere price, an introductory price of $9.95 for three. Not for one, not £10 for one, but for three. £9.95, three individual strands of pearls. I love it when we do this. They are so beautiful, aren't they? they Tiaras are... and wedding season, mother to bride, I mean, yeah. they've gone forever. And pearls are for young and old now. These, Completely. These they days. used to have a bit of a stuffy reputation, mm. didn't they? But it's not the case so at all now. They've really sort of cut away. I say mm. they've come full circle. I, I don't particularly think they ever dated. I just think they possibly for, for a younger feel, they became a little bit less fashionable. Now, mm. they are very, very fashionable. You see a lot of the, the pop princesses sort of mm. wearing the pearls. Mm. Very stylish. I think it's possibly the Kate Middleton effect as well, isn't it? It's all about style. It's all about beauty. Nine pounds and ninety-five. Thinking sort of Sex in the City as well. Carrie, the, the the main character in that, wore lots and lots of the pearls. They they transcend the ages. I personally think if you've got pearls in your collection, you're sorted. And at nine ninety-five for three strands, 
that's an amazing deal. Talking of amazing deals, obviously I think it would be quite rude today if we didn't offer to you a 24 hour special on wire obviously today has been a real gizmo focused day obviously as we've got rachel here it's, it's all about her talent with the wire let's bring you a special shall we and now i know you've been loving the red the red uh, copper uh, wire that we had i love this blue as well this is such an electric color great color for, for for summer if you're thinking about perhaps your turquoises i think this is amazing a hundred meters a hundred meters of turquoise color silver plated copper wire it's a millimeter in terms of size but i just think this is going to be a deal and a half it's for 24 hours only this is absolutely superb so diana will this literally run until quarter to one tomorrow or will it would be till the start of the live show oh so it's not quite 24 hours then is it let's be true it's about quarter to, quarter to one now so when we say 24 hours only it's not quite actually we, what we should have said this is available until 9 a.m tomorrow when we start the next morning live show just just so we know where we are it's one mil it's the one mil so it's yeah. a wonderful value isn't it I mean, 100 meters i know at is that how much you a long time 100 meters at how much um, um we'll, we'll find out oh, yes, we, don't yet. we don't know yet <laughs> but That's you just divide the... divide the price by 100 and exactly. you think it's pen, pennies uh, per meter and, can, do you, and would you recommend getting the big 100 meter um, spools yes, when you're doing the gizmo money, work? you can because i sometimes in some of my necklaces i use about 30 meters of right, wire wow. I really do and Fab. i've used in my gecko necklace i must have used over 60 meters gosh so it's wire. worth having the big the big spools then you're not mm. going to feel limited are you in terms of your designs mm. well this is your normal price we'll have a look at the normal price first i don't think anything's normal in the world of jewelry maker but 19.95 is normally what we do we would expect to treat you to i think i'm going to be adding a bit of this to my order today adding it to my gizmo and various other pieces uh 19.95 we are slashing this down from 19.95 so forget that 20 pound price mark today until 9 a.m tomorrow morning 9 a.m wednesday morning 16.95 you could pretty much add in one of the other strands that we've launched today for that price 16.95 it's a saving it's what we want pounds and pennies remaining in our bank account 16.95 that's 16 that's 17 p a meter very nice See, we've got our own very own, you see, very own Carol Vorderman in the corner here. £16.95. Very good value indeed, considering how much you're getting. And it is such a wonderful colour. One millimetre. Do you, the one millimetre, do you tend to work with that quite a lot? Um, I use all, I use, you know, I use all use gauges. And one millimetre is great for strength and structure yeah. and for clasps. Yeah. Um, and um, bracelet, you can actually use it as the mainstay of bracelets instead of memory right. wire um, to hang necklaces on. So yeah. it's for strength and structure. Okay, so a, a real staple. So actually that will last a long time because you don't use as much of that as the 0 0.8 and 0 0.6. Yeah. yeah, fantastic. Well, £16.95, so that is there. That is available for you until 9am tomorrow morning. So. I'm going to take this with me. I'm going to take this with me. I'm going to take over the gizmo as well now. I'll, I'll update you on the gizmo. If you haven't got yours already, we had the gizmo bundle earlier for you in the show. Those have all been allocated as it stands. If you try it again a little bit later, it may be that we have some uh, that, that are available, but it's worth having a look. If not, we do still have the gizmo on its own. So if you still want the gizmo, and this is what I, this is mine, uh, this is what I'm going to get. You can just take the gizmo alone, and you're looking at only 5.95. And for everything that, that, you, that you can do with the with the, the, the gizmo, it is a definite, definite piece. I mean, what we've just saved on the wire, that's pretty much paid for your gizmo, mm. in essence. Really, really fabulous. So it's that is essential. Tool. Essential, yeah. Totally. So I've been waiting for the Gizmo show for quite a long time. So because we've had a couple of emails asking about uh, about uh, sort of doing a ring, we thought we'd do that now. So okay. we've got the wire. You've already been having a quick look at this. Yes. You've selected. I'm going to. I, I think I'm going to like this too much. I have to I'll, say. I'll see how I go because um, mm -hmm. the one mil. I want to try and get through all these gemstones. We'll see what we can do. Okay. But I want to make. Um, this is the JM ring size. This is one of the first ones that came out, and they've got an, another model with us. Agree yeah. with the mic. Again, if when that comes back in stock, you grab them as quickly as possible because they are yeah, invaluable. They go like They're hot wonderful. Cakes. So um, again, um, I'm just going to ring size it at about an R or no a Q let's go for a Q because I know that's your finger size sort yes, of thing it isn't is. it 
Um, no, yeah, that's like, that sounds that. exciting already. <laughs> and I'm using a, <laughs> let me just think, well, you've measured it round the ring mandrel, so you know the length, and you cut your coil to that length. Mm -hmm. Okay, thread it onto a good length of, um, that's 0.6 mil wire, onto the okay. one mil core wire, and bring it round. Now I'm just thinking how I'm gonna do it. I probably don't need as much for one end as the other. So using the ring mandrel, I'm just gonna shape it. It's not so, do you know, let's see, check I've got it in shot. Bring it in. And the gizmo coils make a really instant, beautiful ring shank if you're just is, starting out. Yeah, this is why I'm really excited about it as well, because I just can't do the off. rings. But I think with the gizmo, I think I'm gonna crack it. I'm determined to. So bring it tight, tight as you can. You can use the ring mandrel or a marker pen, people use as well, yep. just to shape it as, as my fingers are slipping on the wire. Forgive me, forgive me. Okay, we've got about seven minutes, I think. So, so I can slip, no around, slip on the wire a little <laughs> bit longer. Um, and I bring, I want to secure that little twist knot that I've made at the, at the top of the, of the ring. I bring it round once. I want to bring that round the other side. So I'm flipping that wire over yep. and I bring it round the other side and it'll start and underneath the that shank, it'll start to secure it, although it's still pulling a little bit, so I want to make sure put it tight. Starting to secure that wire and that one round. And then that'll fix it in place. Okay. You might need to make the ring shank a little bit larger than your ring, actual ring size because yep. some of this wrapping, especially the one mil, will bring it down a little bit in size. So you've got two wires either side, a little bit messy but we'll hide that. You Take can it always up. stretch it a little yes, bit on the, exactly. on the mandrel, That's can't what, you? Um, Laura showed so beautifully That's the other right, day. Yeah. It's, um, you can stretch it a little bit. So we've got it on the ring mandrel, so I'm going to just add some in some beads and you can add one or two. I'm just going to add a little cluster. Um, beads. I'm going to wrap round. Again you could add in a little bit of 0 0.6 to start wrap this wrap but mm -hmm. I'm going to carry on with the one. As we've got the one. Remember that's on special offer until 9am tomorrow morning so don't Wrapping miss out that round. 16 .95 Another one. Definite. We're going to just make a sort of cross cluster bobble ring with lots of different Lovely. you know go to town um, on your this is going to be a statement piece you're going out to a party with. <laughs> wrap it round. Um, just going to put the quartz there. Mm -hmm. Why not put that in the mix? This is lovely because you, you, your shot of colours coming all from the wire here, isn't it? Yes. Um, again, just bit, watch it with the coating on the wire. Yeah. You can, um, again, I'm trying to use my fingers as much as possible mm -hmm. with the coating. That might be a little bit large. I'm going to carry on back with the. I'll keep on with this. <laughs> Done it now. Yeah, we like it. We like it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to wrap that in between. I feel like I'm hovering like a hawk right now at all right. this. And then I'm going to put another thing on the other side. I want to, to balance it out mm -hmm. a bit. Let's put a, a, a crackle quartz in on the other side. Yep. I'm going to make it a big, big statement cluster ring. Why not? It's going to fit on. Make it fit. Yeah. <laughs> Cinderella and the shoe. <laughs> Absolutely, Cinderella <laughs> moment. Wow, no, that's too big. I'm going to put another run. Um, okay, a little, some, yeah, a little bubble. A little bicone potentially we could pop in there. This is why it's so yeah. lovely when you're making your own designs like this because you try one thing, it might not work as long as you've not gone too far. I'm not too worried about stripping the coating off this wire because I'm going to hide it with a um, mm. with a um, a gizmo coil at the base of the. Right. With the, uh, and obviously and if, you do you find it, if you do find you strip the, co the coating off, just um, maybe snip and use another yeah. bit of wire. But also, like you said, if you're using the, the slightly smaller gauge, yes, be a little yeah. bit more malleable, maybe. But it's great to show you These what you can do just with this, with this one mil. Yeah, the pearls won't take the one mil, but yeah. the silver beads have got lovely big holes. So we're, we're just about there now. So I'm just going to take this round. So I have. Yeah, that's why we didn't do the pearl, by the way. I know we had a request to do the pearl ring, but we didn't do it because obviously we've got the, the one mil wire. It wouldn't actually go through the pearls, but you can, you can modify it if you've got the smaller gauge wire. Right, mm, okay. Okay. Take that back. So we've got our, our, our cluster. Oh, so 
and now let me see one day. Yeah, the, way. the one mil is is uh, you know you've got to sort of have a warm room because it the wire will be softer to be honest okay. than a cold room. So you've got your cluster, and what you can do is just put a bit of coil around the base. Just trying to think how much we might need a good bit. Cut a bit of coil. Um, where's the cutters? Um, so everything went on the floor, so we've got <laughs> something. So a decent length of coil. I'm going to get tuck this out of the way. In fact, what I'm going to do is make a little spiral out of this one. Because then you can either tuck wires out of the way, or you can put spi you know, you do spirals and details and things like that. Sorry, the wire's going to go over. <laughs> I think that, <laughs> think that could win a record. That cover flew your, um, if you are worried about flying bits of wire, um, cover your, I just made a little coil to, yep. to do that, cover everything with your hand mm -hmm. as you snip, which is a safety, te safety tip. Yeah, wear some <laughs> goggles. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm not sure whether this is long enough, so I'm going to try just threading on a little bit of 0.6 coil. Um, it's such a I difference, think I might go for really longer bit. the yes. design. Go for a longer bit. Okay, okay. I'll have a recap yeah. of some of these, these yeah, pieces. So I've got, that I'm we threading on a longer bit of coil and all this wire will go. You, you're, you're snipping it off, so it doesn't matter that it's got a bit mm. of strip or colour loss. There you go. So five ninety five. remember, if you want your gizmo. They are in stock at the moment. For how long, we don't know. So five ninety five for the long-awaited gizmo. And this is the sort of designs that you can create when you've got yours. Now this one, I'm just going to tuck in underneath out of the way to almost create like a little knot of coil. Put in quite hard, We're nearly there. See how we're done? Wow! And there, uh, and then I can just wrap in around and get rid of it. Just take a bit of time, just to make sure those coils are tight. Mm -hmm. And then you've got it um, done. I'll just bring it up, just do a little coil, and we're yep. finished. And we're there. Fabulous! I'm, I'm it sure is a you're all feeling. <laughs> it is, but that's you know. Ring. I'm sure you're feeling very inspired after watching this show today. I'll take that end off because it's just just check the wire there. So that's the thing. Beauty, I do quite a lot of manipulation with my fingers, mm. so not to take the coating off. And again, the, these uh, pliers that again Laura was using the other day, yes. the um, nylon coated pliers just help. They're soft. They're just a bit more gentle on the. Yeah. There we are. I think that's all right. That'll there do. There we go. Finish okay. result. There we are. Absolutely Ruth. fantastic. It's a, it's a bit of a. Um, shall I know. mark this? Fab. <laughs> it's I have hot to from say. The pot. It might go on your little finger actually because it's come down a few sizes. We, we can work that with a mandrel, don't worry. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. That was. Oh. And how quick was that? Yeah, Absolutely glorious. Five pounds ninety-five. Mm. Congratulations to every single one of you who have been involved today. You've had so much. So we need to see these designs, don't we? Look at these designs as well. Let's start with the necklace. I, I'm inspired after today. Thank I knew you. I'd love this show. Um, Even though so it, it was meant to be a butterfly, it's turned out to be that doesn't matter. <laughs> a dragonfly. It can be a dragonfly or a butterfly, <laughs> depends. Depends on how you look at him, but he's certainly very beautiful. And the necklace is amazing. You've got most incredible, incredible detail. Look at the clasp as well. I've got to just bring, look at the clasp. And that's Isn't that on, gorgeous? All on the basics DVD to show how to make that clasp and, yep. and you can use those for links um, in chains and things as well. Absolutely terrific. So you've used the amethyst we gave to um, uh, you earlier on. We had the amethyst, we had the crackled quartz as well and lots of it. We had the polish, we had the matte effect on the amethyst. Look at the bracelet as well, the matching bracelet. I mean I'd expect to see that in a jewellery shop and be paying serious double figures for something like that because you've got genuine gemstones as well. Real gems again. Mm. That gorgeous clasp at the back, which is really marrying Look, up with the one on the, the necklace. Copper really does work well with the amethyst. It's lovely, isn't it? Really gorgeous. So it's got pink tones in it as well. Very, really flattering as well because of that. Mm. And last but not least, little, I had to use I had to use all the gemstones, so that was a little flat, um, opaque. Um, so that's the frosted of the amethyst. The silver beads. There. So they're really gorgeous. Well, and plus the silver beads, we gave you 15 of the silver beads. You've used one at the top and one at the bottom. You've got this lovely sort of spiralling effect that's going all the way around those gemstones as well. So that's the amethyst and the white quartz. It was a six-strand pack. 
of amethyst and white quartz then we have the 15 of the uh, of the solid sterling silver uh, uh, balls as well so have another cheeky peek at those and so you can I've see the good designs. I've got so many gemstones left over I can I can go on and on and make sort of about 10, 10 to 15 more pieces out of oh, those wow. gemstones because because I use the wire as well. Yeah pretty useful. Now did so we get a name? A fight? Did we decide on a final name for the fish? We've had some more requests out, uh, some more um, suggestions what were they? <laughs> Who sorry? Caroni the koi. <laughs> okay, that's quite funky. I like that. Copernicus, mm. but it's spelt with sort of a, a copper. Mm. Uh, Copernica. That's mm, that quite clever. Like ornate enough. I like that one. Do we like? Are we going mm, for that one? I might do because it's it's ornate enough for the. the Who the was that from? Much. There's no prize, unfortunately. Yeah. But <laughs> you don't win the fish. Alison in County Durham. <laughs> well there we go. You, you've what? Were you going to give us a suggestion then? Were you Bambi? Go on. Clive the catfish. My dad would be very pleased to hear that's my dad's name. Clive the catfish. But these are the sort of designs, the sort of designs that you're probably going to be inspired to give, give a bit of a go. I mean, he is very, very beautiful. Incredible pieces. You are incredibly, incredibly okay, talented. Thank you. I'm still learning. Well, goodness me, I, I can't wait to get learning if, it, if, if this is sort of going to be towards the end result. Lots of ideas in the show today. Uh, don't forget, if you want to learn anything, we're going to put some more details up on the on, on Facebook, I believe. Mm. I didn't quite finish off that that pendant just so you can see every step. I'll take, take photographs of all the steps and put it on a Brilliant. PDF and upload it. Fabulous. Great stuff. So thank you very much for joining us in the show. Thank you. It's been fantastic no to meet it's been you finally and to work with you. With yes. It's been great fun and I'm, I've got my kiss now. <laughs> finally. Very excited. I'm holding on to this. Uh, do enjoy the rest of the shows this afternoon. If you want to watch it all again, you can do. And don't forget, at five o'clock tonight, we may be releasing details of the summer ball. So don't miss out. Take care. Bye. Bye. You can watch Juramaker live every day from 9 till 1 on Sky 655, Virgin 756 or FreeSat 807. Get creative with Jewelrymaker. The Jewelrymaker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. And each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their Jewelrymaker account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jurymaker.com or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, Coloured Rocks Limited, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moons Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Good luck and happy jury making.